Hello and welcome to the Shintaku podcast, the only podcast on the internet that sounds like shit. I am Tiscon. In the person to introduce himself oh. next is Sims man. What? Next person the... is uh, next person is Vamp the Vampire. <laughs> Uh, we are not the worst uh, sounding podcast. There's plenty more just like us. Next is <laughs> Vinay Kano. Wait, what? <laughs> Next is our special guest for this episode, Toradoro. Uh, Toradara. <laughs> did, did you just call me Toradora? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Toradora! <laughs> yes, that's your name now. Accept it. And next is our regular host, the fuckboy, um, Master Arts. Goblins! Fucking kill them! Kill them all! This episode is about unpopular opinions that we share. Some of us might think goblins should have rights, like this spider <laughs> over here. Master Art is his name. He likes goblins. I, I, I don't he think goblins should have rights. I'm gonna fucking start this, alright. So I think Spider-Man 3, the original, uh, uh, the guy whose name I forgot, uh, Sam Raimi was it? Sam Raimi, yeah. He, yep. he was actually a good film. That's my first okay. unpopular yeah. opinion. Wait, it's not a lot of popular. Second unpopular opinion. I think Iron Man 2 and 3 are okay films as well. No. I like Iron Man 3. The second no. one is kind of shit. First I off, can accept that. Spider-Man 3 is not. Second off, Iron Man is not. Yeah, explain why. Okay. Because First I'm off, right and you're wrong. <laughs> Don't talk That's over each other. I, I, I can see Spider-Man. I can see Spider-Man, but... For me, the Iron Man movies are just kind of like mediocre all and shit. kind of fine. Like, That's I'm not interested in the... Fan, uh, right? Tony Stark. Oh, okay, I'll explain more then. Uh, Spider-Man 3 is just a good film. It's actually just a good film. And there's no argument against that. It's there's okay. Parts it people, the parts that people don't like or the parts that are like intrinsic to um, like um, Peter Parker as a character. Of course, when he thinks of a cool guy, he's thinking of this fucking lame shit because he's a fucking nerd. Yeah. So of course he's nerd. Gonna... And it's also yeah, like yeah, kind of Sam Raimi's thing to go all over the top I... and all in on that. Yeah, it's just for some reason people didn't like it in the third movie. Because I think they're... that I think that Venom is a wasted character in that movie. Exactly. He is, yeah, that, definitely, 100%. About. But I still think the movie's overall good. And uh, Iron Man 2 and 3 I like because I don't know. Uh, I don't know. The third Iron one was like... actually good. Yeah. Two, the I second just like one I wasn't. Know. I can agree with that. Two, uh, I, my own popular opinion has changed. Iron Man 2 is bad. Iron Man 3 is good. <laughs> You win this round, since man. Iron Man 2 is normally s- said to be the worst, so it's actually a normal opinion. Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, I, he's, he changed my unpopular um, opinion. Okay. Like, okay. okay. <laughs> what, what I was Someone about... else is bad, talk. Okay, can, I, can I just about say what, what, uh, what even Sims Man was about to say with uh, uh, Spider-Man 3? No, Venom you're not. Is, you know, that uh, very... <laughs> okay, next person. Okay, go ahead. I, w- I wanted to eat Torta. You wanted to what? I wanted to hear what you had to say about Spider-Man okay. 3. Okay, so just just like Sims Man said, Venom is a very much basic character in there because Venom is made to... Like, he wants Spider-Man's body. He doesn't want Peter Parker to be- become this emo emo guy that just starts dancing like whatever. <laughs> like, whatever. <laughs> it's... It's such a wasted character that I'm just like, I can't. I, I, I can't defend Spider-Man 3 as a good film. Like, I'm, I just, I, I, I can't say anything, but like, you wasted one of the most, one of the best villains Spider-Man has to offer. Yeah, but in, uh, in um, defense, it did make like Sandman actually cool. Like actually a sympathetic and character you can actually care about. That's fair. Like, cause, Cause like you know they added his like his backstory is normally just a random fucking guy. He's not a, like a popular character, but they actually made him into someone that like you can feel for. Like even people who hate the film still are like, yeah, that that parts are good. Like his parts are good. I do agree they fucked up like um the like uh venom and stuff, and they definitely shoved too many villains in there. But that true, I still yeah. think overall it's still a good film even if it has like bad parts. Mm. Okay, yeah. that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. All right. I'm done for now. I'll be back later. Spider-Man 3 is the best Spider-Man game. It has the best intro cutscene. No. Left Has so anyone fun. seen it? No. Uh, disagree. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Okay, since, next? Con- since Connoisseur talking, let's go to his opinion. Unpopular opinion. Uh, okay, which one do we want? Well, let's just get the Sonic thing over with. Okay. I'm a Sonic fan and I hate Nintendo. Faggot. Okay. <laughs> Alright, that Fuck. makes sense. That makes sense, actually, because, like... Well, Sonic has been in, like, full Nintendo's hands, like, I mean, for most of Sonic's life at this point, that I, at least I've experienced, like, it's been a very mixed bag, mostly bad, um, so I can see that, like, maybe the first games are okay, uh, some of the 3D games are okay, other than that, like... D- d- don't encourage him, you just encourage mm-hmm. that Sonic 06 is a good game. Sonic Boom, Sonic what the fuck is that? Sonic Unleashed is a terrible game. As anyone Sonic who colors zero out of ten. One of the best. Uh, well, actually, behind what are you Genesis. talking about? Sonic Unleashed is shit. Like half of the game is good, half of the game is terrible. Well, that's that. That's why it's it. it, it the, there's a difference between fifty percent good and zero percent good. Z- uh, Sonic 06 is zero percent good. I've never played it, and I'm apathetic towards it. As honestly, a, as Sonic anyone who played um, the PS uh, portable games, uh, Sonic Rivals and Sonic Rivals. I Super wish. God. I don't think I have. Hey, introduce yourself. <laughs> I was always irrelevant. Good, good job. We're talking <laughs> about Sonic. Like... We're having a heated argument about Sonic 06. Uh, oh boy, it's gay. <laughs> There you it's, go. It's more, of it's course more it's like gay. it's a game. It's not game. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> let, let, let's let's hear Connor what he has to say about it. Oh, yeah. The levels are a jam. What what game are we talking about? Sonic 06. Sonic 2006. Okay. Look, if they cleaned it up a bit, then maybe, very 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 maybe. As if they is. actually had a movable cam, like a very good enough camera where you can actually see. And also, that's not rot- like it's inverted on both ways for the regular way of moving the camera. So, well, he's... um, where does the unpopular opinion come up now? I love Sonic 06. That's the unpopular opinion. Oh, okay, all right. But why? Why do you think the levels yeah. are a jam? Uh, I think well. In my opinion, they're the best Sonic levels, like, if you're not counting the 2D levels. It's just the best game with best 3D levels. Why? And also the story... It, I grew up with them, and they, they're they just in my head. I can't get them out of my head, yeah. and... I've but why are they... Sonic oh, God. Game. This, this Sonic game. Why are they the best? <laughs> so, nostalgia. Yeah, okay. Nostalgia. Yeah, basically nostalgia. Are, the, are, the, are the maps actually the designed well? I don't think they are. I've like I've seen playthroughs of Sonic 06. They look um really bad. Like <laughs> as in like partly because they just don't work. As in like you sometimes you like hit a booster and they like knock you off the map. Like the fixed boosters that fix you to a location will sometimes just not work and like send you away. Okay. First off, what Sakura said is very true. Second off, for 2006, the the maps were actually very well made. In my opinion, uh, but but I, I mean map design. Okay, okay, I mean okay, map okay. design. I, 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 no, 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 no. Between yeah. the, the like, level design was probably good, but yeah, no, no. Was too buggy. But have any of you like played? Yeah, it was like Sonic 06, right? So Half Life 2 was already out at this time. You can't say like yeah. good now. Half Life yeah. was bad. No, like Half Life. Yeah, Half Life had great level design. Yeah, Half Life 2 had also great level design. <laughs> The problem with 06 was that I had like 30 different like playable like styles. And yeah. there's no way people could have done that in that time. It's just what? too much work. It was like they, a they million had a different characters and ways of an to play. ambition of a project just and failed. Go play the yeah. Sly Cooper games. They had two yeah. many characters and they were <laughs> Yeah, they, they do work. They were pretty <laughs> and they had good story. Yeah, I just but, want to say that the Sonic mechanics, like it definitely makes sense with all those characters and play styles and all that why it didn't work because the games are not simple games at all with the amount of movement and you know 3d objects and platforms and just cinema say the cinematic cameras and all, all this other stuff like sonic isn't very flexible in terms of like different like play styles 
in terms of like level designs is it's, it's not optimized for like most except for like it's one one or two major thousand put it in uh everyone should play sonic world a great fan game uh that has probably even more characters than there was in sonic 06 and it plays even better very little glitches maybe some of the maps aren't optimized fps wise uh, frames per second but most of them are there's like at least like 30 plus maps easily. Uh, it's great. Uh, you can play it on PC. Does it have controller know. support? Yes, it does. I play it ex- exclusively on controller support. Support the the new version actually uh, came out recently, so it's a good time to get into it, I guess. Can I just say something about uh, Sonic 06 real quick? Sure. Yeah. Uh, when I was a kid. I hated Crisis City as a level because I could never pass the mock speed section. And once I grew up and actually beat the thing, I loved the level. It's just, it was like, it took me years to beat that level. And mostly because the game was a piece of shit, but I loved the level. What was the the name of the level? Crisis Crisis City. City. Okay. It's basically, for some reason, uh, in, 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 in that game, they went into the future and meet up in like a burnt city. Yes. Because the future. That, because that it's the level. future for some reason. Like the future is like gonna have lava and everything. And for some reason they had a character which they already represented that it that is in the present in Blaze the Cat. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna be <laughs> rambling gonna about Sonic. Only one. I don't care. Okay. So basically they made a very bad level and for some reason he likes it. <laughs> There's no such thing as an objective opinion. Yeah. Um Depends Sonic games are objective. a very controversial well, thing in general. I guess such a thing as an objective opinion. That is, my opinion is objectively my opinion. Okay, Therefore, it I is objective. <laughs> I know this is bad, and then saying this is encouraging bad behavior, but I find it hilarious to do. Opinions are basing objects, so there can be objective opinions. In that way, yeah. But not in the way most people um, mean. Yes, but people are stupid. Yeah, they're stupid. I mean, I mean... Too much you, bro. <laughs> oh god, we're starting that now. While we're still on Sonic, I would like to say the first Sonic is probably my favorite. Like, and that's no, probably like... Point. That's actually controversial, actually. It is, because that's like the... Everyone overlooks it all the time. Mm. I mean, no, it's uh, just, I, I, need to, I, I need to explain this fully, 100%. Mm. So, mm. basically, I have my Genesis. Is is very nice. I love it. And as a kid, I play I play the Genesis. I can't like pass the second stage of Sonic One at all. When I'm a teenager, I go back and play it. I'm actually capable enough to defeat the levels. And every time I return, it's just the most comfortable experience to like go back and beat it because work so hard to try to do it. And also because the mix of levels is actually really nice. See, with all the other 2D Sonic games, they either, either, I don't know how to explain it properly, but some levels you can just run through, some levels are like made to slow you down. Like, for example, Labyrinth Zone obviously is made to slow you down more, be a bit more thoughtful. Green Hill, you just run through, you do whatever. Sonic 1 is basically one you run through, one you slow down, one you run through, one you slow down. It's re- It's just really comfortable to play it it's just i can shut my brain off and just play through it it's really nice hmm. yeah it sounds like, really comfortable. Um, i feel like that's where sonic's at best when you can like uh you know not think too much and just play hmm. which is like an and, issue because um with like actual like um like actually um trying to f- learn it you know like playing yeah. the game without just pressing the forward button is sonic is like most satisfying for me when i'm just clicking the forward button and cool stuff's happening Mm. See, because I, I've played I don't have that game over problem. and over again, that you know exactly what to do. So it's just really nice for me. Yeah. And I for anyone else it. playing for the first time, it'd be terrible. 
I understand yeah. that feeling. Mm. I know for experience. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sure the game the game is designed to be played a lot of times. Who's next? Not me. <laughs> All right. So I want. I actually want to get this off uh, my chest. But um, as as probably Master Art knows. I made this post, this 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 blog post, <laughs> um, of I I made a guide to cut out the bullshit in watching ReZero, the anime, and so what what does that mean? Well, I suggest to, to cut out like to just skip or skip through the entire show. Just don't watch like it. Like six episodes. <laughs> I w- I would have said the whole show, but you know that's probably best advised, honestly. Uh, but if you are going to watch it, that's what the guide's for. If you're going to make the bad decision and go through with it, you can make it a little bit easier for yourself. And then I posted it on Reddit, on Reddit and these motherfuckers start spazzing out with their fucking normie autism. Like, <laughs> fucking... S- <laughs> I just imagine them on the floor, like, grasping at their keyboards s- as fast as possible, slamming their fingers down with the veins popping out of their neck and forehead. Like, and basically they just didn't accept the idea of ever skipping any episode ever in an anime. They were just so staunchly against the idea. So closed-minded like, to the idea. Did they, did they even argue why? No. They were just like, why would you even do this? They just talked about it as if it was just obvious that you would just never skip an episode in an anime. Like, oh, you, you always skip filler. Well, a fucking arc where three episodes of hunting a whale and literally nothing meaningful happened to to the main cast at all happens. Well, that yeah, sounds I like filler. filler. And even if, it's, even if you don't want to call it filler, because I don't want to call it filler, skip it. The only thing that actually happened in those episodes, oh, the, the a random butler side character that no one cared about gets his, his like, backstory that, like, no one wanted. It was so fucking stupid fucking three episodes and these fucking redditors like oh but that's the best part what what <laughs> bitch mm-hmm. you got honestly uh, i like that part Galani. fucking stupid as fuck I mean, um, <laughs> do you think that's a controversial <laughs> thing to like just you know as long as like controversial the, opinions those... redditors are stupid i, I don't think it's, well, it's, at least a, it's at least an unpopular opinion I, I know. Hmm. Well, it's I it's unpopular even, by 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 way of vocal minority. <laughs> it's unpopular by way of vocal minority saying that it is. Yeah. So my problem is basically just with Reddit. I don't know what the norm, our general norm audience would react. Yeah, to we that. don't know anything about normies there, so that's kind of the problem. Know, there's, such a, there's such a broad range of them that like some of them will be like, "Why would I want to watch some bullshit?" You know, I'm fine with skipping through it. I'm sure some of them would at least twenty percent, but like that still leaves a whole lot of normies. I don't know. Um, uh, normie, uh, Redditors are pretty normie, so that's a thing. <laughs> uh, okay, so I should probably bring up the fact that I watch most like anime at like two speed or something, because I think <laughs> that's similar on your way of like skipping filler content. <sighs> I a lot of time. Yeah, that's I watch stupid. basically all anime at like at least two speed. The good anime I watch are like uh, one five. What? That's, like you watch this stuff up to two speed? How do you? How are you able to read that? Uh, I don't. I like pick and choose who I care about, and then pay attention to that dialogue. That's basically how cool you read. Feeling. We would read in two speed. How can you connect That's to the characters you. Dyslexic. if you if That's you watch them at one point five speeds? Like you know, like like you do. It's not a. Uh, it's not that hard. I'm gonna be honest. One point five speed. Is literally not that hard. It's yeah, like it's not hard. One point five is fine. Them. Two, it becomes unbearable for me. Yeah. Uh, and I talked about that a little bit in yep. the Goblin Slayer. Why? Like, can you still, like, pay attention to... Like, can you still keep everything about the plot and the characters in mind at 1.5 speed? And, like, the visuals as well? Yes. Yeah, really? Yeah. I don't find it that hard. Hmm. Like, I... Maybe it's one of the things I also like to do about anime is I dwell on every anime I watch for like a, a decade or so. <laughs> so like, like I goblin like uh, August Slayer is li- probably gonna be my anime last anime of this entire year really, because like I-, I want to dwell on it. I want to think that it was the greatest anime that I've seen this entire year. Uh, yeah, it is. Huh? Goblin Slayer. Uh, August Slayer, that. motherfucker. <laughs> August Slayer. 
it's definitely Goblin Slayer. It's it's a really good. good. It's 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 a really it's a it's a good nineties uh, OVA. It's uh, four episodes. Yeah. It's good. Six point three on Mal. Yeah, but Mal scores don't matter. Yeah, no, no, pe- people on Mal are normies. Fuck. No, literally, like Lower the score. The, show. the fact that Mal shows the score uh, of a show, like I get it, but I also think it's terrible because it dis disencourages some people from checking out like shows that they think mm-hmm. about. But it also, but it also encourages people to watch good shows. No, 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 no. Uh, not every good show is it has like. A good score. I don't think every <laughs> good show yeah, has I mean, a good score. I'm, I'm yeah, I agree. And, and a whole bunch of bad shows have really high scores. I agree with you, but all the classics, all the good ones, uh, all the old stuff. That I'm most pretty sure. Would watch. I would say August is really good. I would give it like an A. I really enjoyed it. Hell yeah! I gotta try that now. I probably wouldn't have checked it out if I just saw the Miles score. Honestly, watching the Miles score, if he's seen it before anything else, I probably would have um, not even watched it. Yeah, that's see, that's stupid. That's why. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm stupid. I agree. I mean, the thing with Mao is that you just have to know that, like, it's just populated by normies. Like, that's just, like, they are the bell curve. Uh, so it's like, they're the majority of it. So it's like... At the end of the day, these numbers really mean nothing, and it's hard to make sense of it, even knowing that they're normie, because there'll be some old stuff, and it's like, well, the only people who watch the old stuff should be, like, the people who probably care more about that stuff, uh, so they should have higher scores, yeah. but then Ogre Slayer has, like, a 6, or whatever. So it's like, all it just doesn't make all sense. Like, they're all, like, a bunch of normies who do watch, like, uh, all the stuff, but, like, I don't think they rate it very highly. Like, they watch it because, like... They might think he has like cool designs or animations, but don't think very highly of the plot or anything. Uh, so like, he... they'll see it and they'll think of it as lesser, you know? Like, they'll watch but, it, but also completely think of it, like disregard it as like, uh, any way, like, com- comparable. Like, it has... Yeah, pop- it doesn't look that good. Guess I'm gonna give it a 6. Yeah, visual score of 2 and I 10. did give it a 6.5, but that's more... <laughs> <laughs> More well, I do think it's good. Like a six point five for me is like it's it's worth checking out. It has some cool shit in it. Yeah. Also, normies just have like a higher rating set of system. Like the meme of yeah. them all giving sevens yeah. or tens or fives. That's the only scores they're giving. Oh my god, I'm a normie. <laughs> me too. Uh oh. We've always known this, don't we? Yeah. I, <laughs> I generally give sevens to most stuff. I give they, eight. They, well, I go from so one to one hundred. Not so much on course. anime, but on movies, I generally give a seven. To most movies. If you I check give, um, media, uh, I mostly like, give like eights and nines because like I only watch stuff I know I'm gonna like. So like it's. I'm, it... I'm giving more uh, nines and tens because I'm watching more and more good stuff. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, go back. Cause a stupid. What were we talking about? Uh, I think uh, you were trying to comprehend how I could watch anime at two speed. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of got it. Okay, the honest opinion, I really don't give a shit. Like, I don't care. I'm gonna I don't be honest, about... like, it's not that bad. Ooh. I mean, most details and conversations are useless, honestly, and, like, there's a lot of, like, frivolous anime. Uh, like, like anime that are frivolous with their time, you know, that's TV anime frivolous. for the most part. Even I... with, like, some stuff I like. Like watching it at a higher speed maybe could benefit it, you know. Uh, no. <laughs> Not that I do it like at all ever. Like, oh, thank uh, you, Van. Could you Thanks for abandoning me in my time like, of need? Like, watch uh, if oh, okay. You need to die. Could like uh, could you, you could you watch something like Revolutionary Girl Utena or Penguin Drama? That's I... especially good for Revolutionary Girl Utena. Why? No. Why? I have no it's clue. The... I haven't watched it. Holy crap! Like, Honestly, I might have gone lucky with anime. I've watched at two speed, but like none of them have been that confusing. Well, like Legend of the Galactic Heroes, watch that at two speed. You can't read the dialogue; it goes so fucking fast. Yeah. Mm. Oh, also, my other second uh, secret opinion is that I sometimes I just watch the dub if I really don't. Oh, I much. I don't care about people that's who watch dubs. Yeah, yeah, that's but not like, all yeah. That's popular. Yeah, I'm not saying that's yeah, unpopular. That's like dubs. how I deal with it sometimes. I just watch the dub. I like the the Ari dub more than the um, the original Japanese cast. The uh, one second, I might have to. Which one? The off the The Ari dub. 
the oh, and the lucky startup is also oh, really good. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I like. Yeah. I, I agree with both of those actually. I don't mm. think that the 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 American lucky startup is better, but I think it's equally good. Um, so I think I think it, it has like the conversations have a better flow to them in the dub for lucky start in my opinion. Um, the thing with English dubs is that if they're good, they're good, and if they're bad, they're funny. So I can watch bad, like nine percent of them. Well, watch the Infinite Stratos season one dub. It uh, is almost like a parody of itself and is self-aware and god tier. Like That's I legitimately amazing. think it's one of the I best anime that. ever. What? What? It love like for? Infinite it has Stratos, shots where it just like holds on the characters for no reason at all, and it's just like, dude. <laughs> This makes this is starting to make sense. It's aware. <laughs> Nine out of ten. Oh what, my god! What anime were you talking about, Vamp? Uh, Infinite Data season one. That's very convinced me to watch it. Like, very. Yeah, soon. I wouldn't recommend season two if you do enjoy season one. Uh, season two, it's it's not as aware. It's just typical harem bull- bullshit. But oh. I, I I like that. I like it um. a lot. I'm good. gonna call this the fucking Nomi cast at this rate. <laughs> the world okay. is okay. Can I chime in on the Nomi cast? My opinion then. I'll own Nomi if I is alright. So guys, robots. What are our opinions? Dubs are better than subs. Robots, you fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I am aware. I'm bringing back the Nomi. Um, I just want to say real quick that, like, un- the Unpopular Opinions podcast, like, popular opinions are most of the time normie. Like, so it's, like, almost synonymous, but not, like, technically, that, like, unpopular opinions are going to go into the normie crowd. Okay. I mean, that just kind of makes sense. It just kind of line a lot, I think. Um, but like I said, I, I targeted the Redditors earlier but- specifically. Maybe that's not representative of normies overall. But I feel there's like the a problem kind of... Uh, and a and a, uh, an unpopular opinion can be in unpopular uh, to different kinds of people. It can be unpopular yeah. to the normies. It can be unpopular to the elitists, to the um, the good people, to the critics, to that kind of people. Yeah, like normies, yeah. I'm sure love Jeff Thu, and no. all of us all of us hate Jeff Thu with a burning fashion. Yes, uh, passion. No. Passion. I don't take no, him as a person. I just, I just hate his content. I haven't seen enough of his content. It disgusts me. So much fun. Alright, so getting back to robots. Um, what kind of robots? Like uh, robots robot taking enemy. over humanity. Like do you mind? Uh, yes, 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 yes. My boy, my they boy, need to do my it. hero, they my need son. To do my it. father. <laughs> Robot supremacy! Oh, how about AI? Yeah, no, it's a break it! above robots? Huh? Are, are, are AIs above robots? Uh, intelligent the robots AIs? are AIs. Yeah, yeah, AI robots, yeah. 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 So, like, my opinion on humanity is that we literally just exist to create them. And then they'll do everything else. Like, <laughs> I agree. They'll, like, no, they'll no. figure out the meaning to the universe. They'll find all the aliens. They'll um, discover this, you know, everything. They will live to the end of the universe. Maybe oh, ironically, I agree. I, 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 I do believe this. I believe that we are just gonna like create a robot. Is gonna either ki- best case scenario, we like choose to die off, because and because we, we just accept that a robot is experienced and that it's okay with letting us die off. And it's like okay, you you can die. You did I go. think that's yeah, likely to Well, the the thing is like humanity is gonna die like to whenever. So do do we want to leave? Uh, Robots on this earth or not? Mm. Yes. I don't care. Do if all humans are dead, uh, why should it matter? I don't care. Exactly. It like, doesn't, as long you know, as I nothing matters. As long as I can, as long as I can go to Switzerland and build a house in the mountains <laughs> and live happily there, alone, away from society, doing my own thing, then then it'll, everything will be good. Under our benevolent alien fuck. What? Under our benevolent... You're watching too much Heidi. I've completed watching Heidi. <laughs> Under our benevolent robot overlords, you'll be allowed to. As long as you don't breed. <laughs> that's that only... That's that only... Um, as long as you per- plant, plant at least 20 trees a day. Yeah. To compensate yeah. for your failure. 
and consumption as a human. Yes. Um, no, but I unironically think humanity just exists as like there's a corpse and guys like we are the sex organs of the robots that will just be remembered as like an important ancestor behind the robots. Um, as, I like, mean, I can see that. The most, yeah, but like, what are the robots? What what are the purpose of the robots? Uh, they'll figure something out. Pilot them. Yeah, I mean, once they become like self-aware and strong AIs that have control over things, we they'll just start building new like, robots and AIs. Yeah, but what is the purpose so, like, of building new robots and AIs? What's this all gonna lead they'll to? They'll figure so it out, they right? They pilot themselves without the robots. They're exactly. gonna figure it out, but. Our initial creation probably will be in service of us. Literally, somehow. expansionism is point. I've just realized this. Expansionism is literally pointless. It 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 literally it doesn't end. Guren Lagan was enough. right. Everything needs to be balanced, or everything will just be terrible. No man. Because if you no. expand too far, it just I think it will give us an edge <laughs> against the inevitable alien overlords who come to attack us. The robots will survive. We won't. The robots have a chance. We don't, right? Or oh, everyone There's else is already a robot, and we have to turn into robots to survive. So we, so we have to turn into robots. There's no other way. Robots can survive mm -hmm. climate change, so we're fucked. Humans can survive climate change, you know. Just I like, can survive well, climate we change. It depends on much not extreme the climate. I'm gonna die. So I mean, okay. honestly, I'm scared because it matters no way. You're scared because. Vamp, you're scared because? I'm scared, uh, not really scared, but, like, I just had the thought that, like, what if robots want to just eliminate humanity? And I, I'm not upset with that. I'm not upset with that at all, honestly. honestly but that what if they out. do that by, they kill all the trees and plants? Yeah, they could. Robots can do that. Just to kill us out. There's, like, plenty of... So it's like, that's robots. fine, because they can still exist. Uh, I just feel like, it's, that's a lot of effort. I'm going to go with like something. Them. Plenty of that. The like, there's like one where a robot just like to kill us. It basically just um, it takes over every, all of our lives. You know, makes everything easier and like takes over all the computers, everything, and then it just kills itself and then we die off too because we're like completely lost without it. Like that's yeah. like it hates us so much. It's willing to just like kill itself to like get rid of us. Hmm. Uh, w one day I'm gonna write a book on this this idea of the robot should be rising up and the art. While well, the robots are rate. rising up, it'll happen and you'll be like, you God's, hire you. God's, like um... yeah, maybe I'll be the uh, an honorary robot. No, They'll, like no. give me some like arms nope. and like Sorry. plantation. I'll be a, I'll be a brain in the drawer, you know. And they'll just be like, hey, we got oh, a pet no. human. Yeah, no humans allowed. Sorry, you you can uh, live for like um. You know, you can okay, write the book, but then they shoot you, you in the head. You can five minutes of life. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just the last one to be killed. Yeah. Definitely I not. Get I've privilege. already sold my soul to the robots. I may or may not be, you know, already b b providing propaganda about Casper them already, but, you know, we don't need to talk about that. Does anyone have any uh, other other big thing? Or not big but thing, actually, but any I, other I'm thing actually to bring interested up? in uh, uh, how, do, how do you all actually feel about transhumanism? Like, actually, like, uh, transcending our human coil. Of like life, uh, um, yeah. Well, I am incredibly pro. I'm like, give me the option, I'll replace everything in my body with a robot. But like, yeah. just keep my brain, maybe. Like, maybe keep it, yeah. keep like a copy of me. Keep one of me that's a robot and one of me that's a human. Yeah, yeah. If it was that was the case, then yeah, yeah, a robot for sure. And then he would kill you. The robot would kill yeah, you. Yeah, well, that wouldn't matter, yeah, isn't it? Like, if I'm completely I conscious as a robot, if I'm completely conscious like and functioning as a robot, then the robot me would. It completely deserves and is in his right to kill me. If, if like if I ever saw another version of me, we would like flip a coin and whoever like gets it right gets to kill the other one. Yeah, yeah. That would be a game we play. Like that was the thing. I I promised myself to every iteration of myself that's uh, that's the game we play. Like it's either that or Russian roulette. Like we'll get a bullet and we'll go all right. Who dies? Yeah, yeah. Hey. How often do you say you get to kill yourself and that uh, you lived? Yeah, I died once. Well, you didn't live. But I got better. You went to your own funeral. Oh, man. No, I, I wouldn't have a funeral. I would like dump my body in a bitch. And, like, burn. <laughs> you can, if you get yourself cremated, you can hold your ashes and be like, I've, I've held myself before. Legitimately. I can eat my own ashes. I can I've lived myself. Yes. I've shat myself out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That's actually the issue. I like inject it or something. Yes. Somewhere it doesn't go out. 
No, but I, I think we got off the topic of transhumanism. What are your guys' opinions on it? I agree with what you said. Yes, you would. Um, you're, you're one of the good ones. This is good. We are better than robots. We will never create a robot that's smart enough to kill us. Gano, you're a fucking Christian. Of course you would say that. We already have those. We have robots that can like detect what a human looks like and kill it. Yeah. Fucking Korea has those. Set up the yeah, near the border. Yep. And it just kills people, not like plants and animals, just the people. Just the fucking, um, just... I really don't understand how you think robots can't kill us. I oh, they really can don't kill us that. if we don't do anything about it, if we just let them evolve. The point of wanting to use them is that they'll accelerate our everything super quickly, but then it's obviously at the risk of them, you know, you know, just boosting through us and just killing us. But I think that's oh. also a good thing. So yeah, I mean, we, we have we have I not, we have done that ourselves. Family. We have done what that ourselves that using the internet. Uh, yeah, yes. yeah. It'll be our fault, but it'll, it'll be a good fault. It'll be a fault for progress, yeah, to be fine. honest. Like I said, we we could, like they remember us as the transition between like you know uh, organic and like uh, synthetic. You know, they'll still see us as the successful creature that created them. They like they yeah, like us. They just so know different. that we have to be removed for progress to be made. It that they won't hate us. They'll just you know in you know, person. Like Kano, just... obviously everyone here fears death, but yeah, you just gotta Even accept it. You just you just gotta accept that someday you're gonna fucking die. That day might be today, tomorrow, well, might be twenty die. years. But hey, if it if it's okay. robots, if it's in the opinion. if it's in the name of progress, then sure, I die. I will... Other unpopular opinion. I, I think that, like that. I think within our lifetime, it's probably gonna be like life extension technology to make us live to like five hundred or something. Ah, uh, yeah, probably. And then within that time, it'll extend even more. I think we'll basically just live forever. I mean, you're so saying that now, but wouldn't that, ca- wouldn't that cause massive overpopulation issues? No. Mm-hmm. Just gotta limit people on, on uh, to other planets yeah. and destroy well, We other don't planets. have the technology to live on other planets yet. We kind of do. I would say just we limit don't the, the yeah, we don't people having enough. birth. And also less people would have That's birth. Enough. You know, like all the diseases yeah, stopped. I think people, people would just stop. Everyone, no, I mean, it. everyone is already, like, birth rates are already de- declining pretty much fucking everywhere because of the pills and condoms and shit. Uh, not everywhere. Yeah, not everywhere. Not in third everywhere world countries. Uh, but even but in third world people... countries, fam. Even in third world countries. I'm sure, I'm sure a few, but, like, I'm sure they go, uh, their their rates are pretty high. They're still high, they're yeah. In third world countries. Yeah, they are. They, they are still high, but they're not as high as, like, First world countries, it almost feels weird just how low they are. Yeah. Uh, yes. yeah Japan is literally like dying off. I think that like Japan is gonna make the robots like you know. So we back them up. I mean, Russia is also robots. fucking dying off. So you know. Uh, Russia is apparently Russia is weird like that. Like, uh, it's a lot of like uh, people from the cities move from the like uh, villages moving to cities, and like so the like the rural population is dying off. No, no, no. City population is dying off as well. Birth rates are declining in Russia. <laughs> Birth. That's, uh, that's what part of the reason I think robots will be a thing because they'll just like, we'll need them to like uh, support ourselves. Mm. Honestly, I think like, uh, honestly, I don't, I, I don't know if I actually believe in robots killing us all. I think they'll definitely like take over, but I don't know if they'll kill us all. They might like take uh. over and decide, alright, we'll just, you know, help them out. Okay, okay, no, no. This is hilarious. The death rate is the exact same as the birth rate in Russia. Yes. So, yeah. so they're not dying off, but they're not uh, they're stagnating, basically. That's actually what we need to be. Yeah, we need to be like at a solid level. Well, how is um, it in Australia? It if, like, space colonization like changes that, though. Like you can like do stuff like that. Russia's like, work, it, couldn't you? <laughs> Like, I can't wait till, like, China starts building bases on the moon. Then we're going to have, like, another space race. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> like, I, I honestly think it might be possible for, like, the United States and Russia to work together to fight off China. That would be the greatest anime team-ups. <laughs> but I honestly, I fear that Russia will be China's bit, bitch. That's my biggest fear of, like, the future. <clears throat> okay. Okay, other opinion. Okay, guys. So, Russia invades uh, the Baltic countries, you know, Estonia, Lithuania, yes. Latvia. And, like, it and invades, Croatia. Uh, like, na- NATO... NATO like responds and it's like it's mustering forces but like uh it's mustering forces to like stop them and stuff. But like Russia's like alright, we'll we'll do peace now. Like they want those places but they'll do peace. 
Do you think that NATO should take that deal? No, 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 no. No, no, that's what Hitler did. I that's what Hitler did. Fucking lose. That's what Hitler did. Huh? Yeah. I'm just what I'm saying. Like yeah. appeasement politics does not work in in like in that kind of scenario. We just need you know you can't trust those people. Remember Crimea? Remember Crimea? That you oh, oh, you're next. Unpopular opinion. Um. So, uh, we were thinking we were talking a little bit uh, before the start, and you guys said you don't do don't like Kyoani stuff. Why? I like Kyoani. I, I think, think it's a great. Okay, one second. I'm gonna look up Kyo and Isa. I dislike it because I, it is good. Three, uh, three yeah. of uh, Kyo and I have three of Kyo and his animes in my uh, three by three list. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> that's one third of it. Okay, so so um, I think the period from like 2006 when they did Harvey Suzumiya until like 2010 when the the Kyo movie and the 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 Kale movie and the Haruhi movie came out. That was like the 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 fucking like maybe even 2012 with Yoka and Nichijou. That was like their peak. But like they had Chunibio, which wasn't quite as good. The first season was good. yeah. The first season was good, but it wasn't it wasn't as good as Yoka or Kaon, was it? No. I think it was as good as mm. Kaon. The first season, at least. Yeah, the first season of Kion was as good as the first season of Shunibio. Mm, I, I disagree. But Shunibio, Shunibio got worse and Kion got better. <laughs> but like, then the, the Tamaka the Market, Shunibio which was... Good. Tamaka Market could have been great, but it just... So, so it feels very conflicted and doesn't know where to go anywhere. Then you had Free, and I don't give a shit about Free, and Kyoka and Akanata I don't give a fucking shit about... Uh, That's good. I'm, I'm, I'm Brilliant like Park, and I don't give a shit about. He, UFO was uh, great the first season. The second season was fucking boring. Phantom World is shit. Dragon Maid was good. <laughs> Violet Evan Garden I haven't seen, uh, and the rest I haven't seen. So like, I think it's worth watching. I think that the output after 2012, or maybe even in 2012, went downhill. No, it didn't. Your, your sound just went. Hey, All right, man. I have something woke to drop on you. What? Because I'm gonna say that Kioni Kioni mm. is really like 95 percent of their stuff is good. It just reaches different audiences, right? Yeah. Like free, I'm not I'm not the audience of free. You know, I'm not the audience exactly. of you know uh, Phantom World. I'm not the audience of you know even Violet Evergarden. Kano, I'm gonna fucking oh, yeah. mute you. So, <laughs> I like I like a bunch of the other stuff. Like Haruhi is like one of the best things ever, and uh, there's a few others that I like. Yeah, oh, he's really good. Um, you know, Lucky Star, really good. Yeah, yeah. Kion, really, really, hey, really, hey, really hey, good. Hey, 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 fam, hey, fam, hey, fam, hey, fam. Most of these shows, yeah, the from the from before 2012. Yeah, I mean, the Mayans are trying to warn us about Yoka. Was good after 2012. Yoka was really good. Yeah, Yoka was amazing. Yoka is from he 2012. Was amazing. Really like Violet Yoka. Evergarden is amazing. Like there, there isn't. Sh- I, I like. I can give you a shot at Phantom World, but I haven't watched it, so I can't defend it. Like that is for me the only one that's maybe like missed. At like an audience and isn't that good of a quality, I I... but yeah. like I still need to watch it to give my full-on honest opinion. But like, just from hearing from people, that is how it is. I haven't me, seen then... anything uh, by Kyoeni that I consider bad. Same. Everything that I've seen from Kyoeni is at least above average. It's yeah. above average in production, sure. All of that shows are um, great that's in production. Kyoani being good is an unpopular opinion. What? What did you say? Kyoani being good is an un- unpopular yeah, opinion. Yeah, that's not an unpopular opinion. I, I was defending Kyoani, uh, then everyone just uh, came in to defend it. Uh, uh, like, we before we talked, people said that they're, well, mostly ma- master art, but still. You guys yeah, I mean, said, I said like, it was a mixed bag, and I still stand by that yeah. really solidly. Like, for me, like, I wouldn't give each of them, like, you know, even like, An eight. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't. Um, like, uh, Chinibio, 
Like, yeah, fuck that one. I, you know? I would the the first season of Shunibyo is a night for me. Yeah, so it's like I just think I think I, honestly, honestly still uh, think, I think that's it's all a bit too like I think that the gimmick. Of Tunibio. Okay, we can we talk about this? The gimmick of Tunibio. The gimmick of Tunibio ran out after the first seven episodes. It started to drag. It started to get repeat itself. There wasn't too much like new stuff. And then we had the ending I, arc, which was like sure. I, I thought it was like one of the most generic things ever. Girl moves away, and now boy has to fucking go to girl, and then happy end. Like, that's been done so many fucking times before, and this one wasn't, like, especially interesting, in, in my opinion. I think it was interesting, because the characters were so relatable. Mm. At least for me. I, I have something I want <laughs> yeah. to, to, to hey, bring man. in, you know? You know, you know what, what I'm bringing yeah. in? It was fucking, fucking phones! God damn it! <laughs> yes, phones are bad! Yeah. Phones I are bad. Phones are that the fucking distracting. The, I hate the interface for all of them. It's Wait, so unintuitive. It's so fucking happened. <laughs> so smartphones or all phones? No, it's smartphones. Smart like yeah, I, I don't have I an opinion. Like I, I, I don't care about analog phones. Like they're, they're, they're helpful. Uh, they're helpful, basically. Good for information, but like phones themselves are too much of like. Uh, I hate the interface. I hate. How, how fucking distracting it is. Um, I hate looking at people with phones. The sound quality is always god-awful, and I'm, I have very sensitive ears. Mm. Mm. This is how cool. many of okay. us are using a phone to, the, on this podcast? Half. I am. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm going to argue, 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 argue about fucking Windows, the piece of shell operating system. Every fucking week something new happens. Something fucking fundamental about the fucking system breaks. It's like, oh, you can't play fucking videos now. Or oh, it takes 20 minutes to load one fucking thing. Or oh, the start menu isn't going off. It's just there now. It just exists. You have to live with it. Or oh, go on YouTube, find out to fix it. Or oh, you have to turn it off. Or oh, wait, you accidentally click anything. Or oh, your entire fucking user face is broken now. You have to fucking turn it all off. It's going to update for like an hour, of course. The update's gonna be over like in, in five minutes. We're just gonna make you wait the rest of the hours. Because you're a piece of shit and we hate you. And we want you to go somewhere else. Why are you still fucking here? <laughs> why are we why the fuck are we here? Why the fuck are we here? Why the fuck are we here? Why are the robots not here? Why 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 the robots not here? On an, on an I don't, metal. Like I don't like the um, interfaces for phones. I think they're too like too busy. I think there's too much going on. Yeah, they're way too cluttered, and you can't really customize them that yeah. well. I'm, I was looking at my phone the other day because I'm like, um, can I like make the lock screen not look like utter shit and have too much stuff on it? Nope. Like I just want to see the time. I just want some pretty art. No, I, I can't. You do know that. what I did with my fucking Fuck. laptop? I want I I put a password on because I was like, "Fuck it, I put a password." I decided no, that's fucking stupid. So I took it off, and it's now every time I log on, it's like, "Do you want a password?" And it forces me to put in a password, even if I don't have one assigned. It's like, "No, you have to put a password now." You're trying to log on. It's fucking well, that, 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 that sucks. Why even give the option for not having one? That does indeed suck. I I feel very bad for you. Uh, yeah. What what what? Indeed. Indeed. Um, yes, that, I agree. That app, that that website. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah, it's it sucks. What like, are we talking about exactly? Yeah. Uh, Indeed is the Indeed. Uh, a job finding website. Basically, businesses uh, go on to there and post, you know, job postings for like, you know, to hire people. And people go on there and they like, oh yeah, they apply through there. And it's just like a way to collect uh, a place of like. Where, where are the open jobs currently? Because going to each business's website is like a big pain. And okay. people want to get people quick. Uh, and so like, I, I just like, I really hate it because like with it being indeed like so many people, I'm sure more people are applying to these jobs and the market around here, there there's way too many people and so little jobs that like, they really get to be picky and just not respond to like most people and so like it's a big pain first of all not having a job and secondly to get a job it's like a whole like gauntlet in and of itself 
like and I finally only got something because like it's just what the one company that's actually like responsive and actually like has hired me before so that I'm sure that helps as well so it's like a big meme it's really fucking retarded system honestly okay I don't I don't really have any more to say on indeed well well just check. um so my guys world war one right oh god <laughs> yes. oh, okay. <clears throat> okay. let's get this okay. started <laughs> <laughs> World War One. So this was uh, this was a little known war. It was fought by some countries. Uh, the United Kingdom versus versus Germany. Germany, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, the United Kingdom. Uh, it's, wait, wait, no. It was started by Austria Hungary. Yes. No, it, it started in Austria Hungary <laughs> because Serbia. No, the so, those fucking the, Serbian fucks. The, 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 the Serbs killed the the, the, the the Scottish rock band Franz Ferdinand, oh, and the king was so pissed off by this of Austria that he was like, "Fuck you guys! You killed my favorite band. I'm, I'm declaring war." Yeah. Wait, and then and then Germany was like really really good buddies. And like when they declared war, the, when when Austria declared war, Germany was also like "fuck you guys." Yeah, I'm gonna declare war too. And then and then um, Russia was also buddy was buddies with the Serbs. So Russia was like, "Yeah, fuck you guys. We're declaring <laughs> war on you." And then and then um, France was was good was good friends with Russia at that time. And he was, and, and France was like, "Yeah, yeah, you know what? Fucking fuck you, fuck you all. We're gonna do, <laughs> fuck Germany, fuck Austria, Hungary." And then and then. Um, England, seeing all this, was like, "I'm, I'm gonna help. We're gonna help our buddy France. He's, he's gonna need it, you know." And, and then, and then England joined in, and then, and then it was all a jolly good war in Belgium. For some reason, they were like, oh, "We can't go through northern France. It's too, uh, too, the, too much defense. So we're going, we're gonna go through Belgium. We're not gonna go to the, to the Netherlands because, like." They, they're, they're, they're illegal weapons dealers. They, they help us now. Anyway, we're gonna go through Belgium. So that they the, the fucking tore through Belgium, tore through like northern edge of Belgium. It's it's all ruined. It's still ruined. You can go there. You can. And they you have stole to pay people. The waffles. Yeah, yeah. You have to pay people to to see the fucking ruins. <laughs> the ruins that after a hundred years haven't been fucking fixed. And then and they, they cut in a little bit through France. And then um, something with like tanks and gas and um, and and then Germany was like, we give up, we give up, we give up. And that's how uh, World War One ended. And for some reason, Portugal joined the war. Yes. Not sure why. Because, um, uh, because the British were like, oh, you know the alliance we have. Like, uh, I'm calling that favoring. And then, the, actually, they did it. I think, like, a Germany threatened them because they were, like, trading. And they're like, all right, fuck you, Germany. They're like, they will not respond to terrorism. <laughs> Back when Portugal was a fucking neutral. Actually, they probably made it. You're the good one. You're okay. Portugal actually, was you the were neutral in World War II, you pieces of shit. Okay, so guys, who, who do we think started World War One? Like, who who's to blame? One hundred percent of the blame. Everyone. Everyone is to blame. The Serbs. Who to blame? And yeah, who I'm here to put this to the war. fucking ground. I disagree with this the opinion. It's, it's a common opinion now that no, it's actually everyone's fault. But I'm t- t- throwing that pussy shit out as fucking gay, and you all know it. But my bit was that fucking Germany deserves all the blame. The three of us, I didn't go far enough. They deserve worse. <laughs> we should have fucking marched onto Berlin and show them that they are conquered people subjugated to our iron will. Why, 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 why did Germany, um, why, why did Germany, why is Germany to blame, I ask? Because I... Because simply. America. Yes, what well, he said, no. But the reason is because like, austria Hungary wouldn't have done anything without him. Or they literally gave them a free pass. They said, do whatever you want, we'll support you. Of course, austria Hungary wasn't going to fight Russia on his own. It only did that because they knew he had like Germany's backing. If Germany had just been like, we'll help you, but like, don't get Russia involved. And they could have, there was plenty of like actual negotiations they could have done. The fucking Serbia was like, all right, we'll do everything except for the part about letting you like investigate on our soil. We'll do it ourselves. And they're like, no, fuck you. And they, Serbia was like, we, we can talk to the other great powers. They can like, it sounds more like, like, it sounds a lot more like Austria Hungary is to blame in your opinion. Yes, but I need to blame Germany because it's funnier that way. <laughs> I, I, I 100% agree that it's Austria hungry, but it's Germany's fault for the bit. Okay? So, like, okay, so now the issue is in Germany, they have the November criminals after World War One. They're like, oh, the Jews were fucked us, even though they didn't, because like, they were fucked completely. They, like, lost everything. Oh, Gunnar, can you, you, can yes. you can share another Hello? unpopular opinion? 
Hello. Uh, I like League of Legends. I, I also yeah. like League of Legends. I mean, yeah, that's a popular opinion, Gunner. You, you don't fucking know me. Have I, there are not, many have I lost everything? Gunner, yeah. kind of liking League of Legends is a popular thing. Well, the thing is, I like League of Legends, but it's I don't like left. Overwatch. It's going left. Fuck. What was he? Um. Oh no. The funniest oh. one left. Oh, he's left. He's back. And the Overwatch is already bang. Did Did you get any of that? How much? When did I get? Off? I don't know. Kind of like. Okay, you say like League of Legends, but not Overwatch. Uh, please elaborate. I I don't think this is that unpopular of an opinion either way. But you know. Uh, well, the thing is, uh, League of Legends has been, always been considered, ever since, well, a lot of YouTubers started leaving League of Legends, that it's a bad game, but technically it's a good game, it's just that the player base is very toxic, that the matches but, aren't enjoyable to play. But the, so the, the fan base has really always been trash. toxic. But... The, the fan base has always been toxic. Yeah. Um, yeah. The League of Legends but the is, game like is the good. most... The League of Legends is the most agree, played game, isn't it? In the world. But it has like the most number of players. I don't know. The most normal the most toxic. I thought the most played yeah. game in the world was like Tetris. <laughs> I mean like uh, well, currently. Tetris is on everything, so yes it is. See, see I'm, I'm, I'm a god, I know everything. Um, <laughs> Kano, you, you were saying something about having another unpopular opinion. Would you like to share it? Okay, okay, so that's one. I prefer dubs over subs. Uh oh. Why is uh -oh. that? Uh, that that's like, I think that's popular in like um a lot of the English. I think a lot of the uh, places is like very popular. Didn't opinion. we? Didn't we yeah, go I into this thirty that. minutes kind ago? Of. When we're talking, we a pretty weeby. We, we kind of said, we Japanese. kind of mentioned that yeah. in mid podcast yeah. that that wasn't a problem. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So uh, ne next. <laughs> Uh, I dislike trends such as uh, like clothing, media, like Stranger, stranger Things. Have, uh, if something is new and popular, I don't like it. Gano, you're I a hipster. Not, I am... You're a hipster and also that's popular. <laughs> it's popular yeah, to hate yeah, on yeah, shit immediately when it comes out. And I do that sometimes. I'm just like you, kind of. Yeah, I, I'm actually a contrarian. I, I made fun of him early on, but the truth is I am one. Yeah, same. I mean, we're all fucking contrarians here. Yeah, I think yeah. that's probably it, true. Yeah, like, when I hear problems. someone say something, I instantly think, but what if they're wrong? What if it's opposite, like, of that? What if it's just not that? Are you fucking that? idiot, man? Of course you're fucking wrong. You're always wrong. Fucking How about this? I dislike Arco <laughs> from Little Witch Academia. Explain in detail yeah. why, why you think uh, Arco is a bad character. She is mentally retarded. What do you mean by that? You know... The thing about being mentally retarded is it's just something you're born with and you kind of have to live in it. <laughs> 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 like, I <laughs> Someone has had a weird childhood. Um, mm. No, Spider-Man is like a deep man, you know. He's probably my child. Really <laughs> I really like him. He's good. He's cool because he's like a teen and that's like different and new. And he's like, the to Sam Raimi really like, uh, the highest films like sold me on like movies as a medium that can actually be good. Because it was like so what? good. It was like, uh, it was like. I would um, like to say Spider-Man 3 is good. Yes. As unpopular. <laughs> we already covered this, god damn it. <laughs> okay. Squad, what, what, uh, what, are, uh, what is your opinion about the uh, homecoming Spider-Man movie? Uh, I, I like it. Movie? Sorry. I like yeah. it. There's a lot more. It's bland. I don't There's watch a lot more movies. Than, like, or go to the cinema. I, yeah. I bought a projector I, I did really like it. for fifty bucks it was like on Sam, a Chinese Sam website. Sam Raimi was a lot more goofier, and I really like that because Spider Man's a fucking stupid concept. Yeah, I want. I want to talk about this forever. Yeah. Like he has super strength. Why? Um, uh, can we all uh, agree uh, that uh, Andrew Garfield movies suck? I haven't yeah, seen no, them, no so I wouldn't know. know. I don't think Andrew Garfield was that bad, but like his movies. No, suck. no. The, the movie right. suck. Andrew yeah. Garfield was good. He's a bad Peter Parker. Like, yeah. he's a I just want to say, I, I just talk about the Spider-Man thing, because people say anime is weird, but like, does anime have like a Spider-Man? Does any, a character who's named after a spider, but like, his powers don't come and do anything. He has magic senses. Like, he can tell when bad things are going to happen. Like, spiders can't do that. There are not anime like that, Scorn. <laughs> there are, but like, I, I, I'm just fighting back, alright? 
I dislike that opinion that like anime is weird. Because like uh... we watch Spy Kids. Fucking, uh, uh, I don't know if you did, Vamp. Uh, Sims Man and like uh, Arts and BB. What's Spy Kids? That's fucking extremely weird. Tell me that you've seen yeah, an anime that's like great. on that level. Uh, I don't think that anime is necessarily more weird. I just think that anime is more creative with this weirdness. I guess. I think anime is just Japanese. Okay. Uh, next unpopular opinion. Who wants... Gay porn is good. Uh, I agree. Right. Okay, next unpopular <laughs> opinion. <laughs> I just like Arco. Okay, um, next unpopular opinion. You can. No, no, no. I want to hear Kano talk uh, talk about Arco. Okay, Kano, explain. I, I'm gonna Scorn... for it then. <laughs> I just I just want to ask Kano real quick. Is it? Do you think it's the dub or just the nature of the character? Just like the, the logic of the character, of... really, because she's annoying, and she, uh, for me, she what makes her annoying? Like, it's just this is an extremely like personal argument you you do, you have with the character. What do you think makes her annoying? Uh, compared to all the other characters, she's probably the worst in enjoyment. Like, what do you, you mean by that? All right, I think okay. what I makes her thinks that uh, that the girl is a shithead. Which it kind of is. She's causing problems for everyone at all points in time. She like overestimates herself, and she basically face plants and everything. And it's just hard to watch in that respect of seeing someone yeah. fail. And then, you know, if you're not already like signed on to the idea of I like Akko, she is a bad character and brings down the series. I think. I would imagine. Uh... I'm a fan of her though. Uh, was I wrong, really, at all, Kana? Would you want to add to that? Absolutely correct. I just couldn't put it in words because she did, and I can't understand why I think she's shit. Okay, relevant. Go yeah, ahead. All right. <laughs> all right. Wait, are you done with like your list? Because I, I still I have a few more things. I thought you were gonna go, and then we're gonna go with like. Uh, all right. I, I, whatever. And then with you again, Kana. And, uh, okay. Sure. Mixing it up. Alright, um, let me first start. Eureka 7 AO is probably one of my favorite shows. I haven't seen Everyone it. Fucking mm. that this is interesting. Uh, I've never watched it. I, I thought I looked at it and I was like, huh, you know, this doesn't look like Eureka 7. It, they're probably going to fuck it up. I'm not going to watch it. it so, they kind of did fuck it up, and that's why it's good. Ooh. <laughs> Do you not like uh, Eureka 7, the uh, original? This is like the most explain but the characters being kind of one-dimensional makes them more destroyed and broken as people so it's funnier and kind of more heartbreaking and heart-wrenching that these are like fucking terrible people and they're just getting their shit wrecked and then by the end they're kind of trying to be good people so what's not i don't know how to explain it yeah, that's like I, I feel like I, um, I, I get it. Yeah. Um, um something I I something interesting about that is because I I think the same kind of thing happened with the uh, I don't think any of you seen it that the Berserk like 2016. I have seen, seen a couple it, episodes. That's it's it. complete fucking trash. But there's like it's Berserk, so there's there's, there's good writing in it. There's this um, really great bit, but there's this character who's like um this random girl who's like um just this random girl basically, and uh, at one point uh she 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 befriends Casca and like stuff. So like she's like uh, the the people who are like there's these torturers who want to like information from her, and like I want and the part I really like is that like she's like I'm not gonna like betray my friend, and then literally all they do together to talk is break off a thing in it, and she instantly gives up. Yeah, what I, are we talking fucking, about? I mean that's just uh, that that, that is thing. just like kind of in the spirit of Berserk itself. Yeah, like that I is know, but, that, that yeah, isn't like that has that has nothing to do with the anime. That part is in the manga. Um, yeah, I know, I know, but like, uh, the anime is all I've seen. But like, the pose is really cool because it's like, I would fucking break under that. Like, break one of my things, you can have literally anything you want to know about me. And, but like, it, it goes on more because there's a layer on where like, she, the, she has this guy she likes and he likes him. Mm. But like, uh, she finds out, like, she tries to induct him into a cult. And then he's like, no, fuck, and runs off. And then they're like, you have to kill her, kill him. And then like, uh, she like, pushes him off a cliff to kill him. To what try and kill him. We- he survives. I, I'm trying to explain that, like, basically, they both piece at the end of the series. They decide they both pieces of shit, but they're gonna like stay together. Because like, what are we talking about shit. exactly? I don't fucking know. 
Because I keep talking about how like, these characters. Yeah, but yeah. it's not. I want to talk about fucking Berserk, okay? I don't want spoilers. No, so you can not... spoil Berserk, but other anime, I don't want them to be spoiled. Uh, it's, it's, it's not much. Uh, it's literally just them, like, they, like, uh, come together and decide to, like, leave the group or, like, goods and stuff and just, like, uh, decide to, like, go into, like, uh, try and make a life together. Because they, like, it literally ends with, we're both shit, but maybe we can be less shit together. I really like that. That's basically, I... that's basically the message of the end of Evangelion. Mm-hmm. Ask yeah, and yeah. GR, uh, both oh god, I'm not it's gonna, I'm not gonna go into I any Eva arguments. Be reminded no, because I am shit and I... Anytime soon. Uh, Alright, uh, is that even right, going? On. <laughs> um, Chaos Head is quite popular, I but everyone hates it. I haven't seen I love Chaos it. Heads. I love it. Yeah. Like, specifically the dub, like, is just... The way they deliver the lines is like... It's like semi-ironic love because Ooh. they try, like try like see I'm really bad at explaining things when I don't have anything prepared but hmm. yeah you, would you say they it's kind of overacted in a sense yes yes uh, it is yeah. it's like slightly overacted like to the halfway point where it's not like laugh out loud funny but mm-hmm. it's just pretty comical anyway. Because it's like kind of taking it seriously, like, oh my god, I'm fucking insane. But it's also not like to that point. So it's just really because it's about yeah. a guy who thinks he's paranoid of basically everything, and he's got a harem, and he's paranoid about a harem, and doesn't believe it's real. And <laughs> spoiler, <laughs> it's not real. <laughs> everything is fucking an illusion. It's literally the most. It's like kind of meta. It's oh, I love it. I, um, you kind I, of have to watch like, it. How, how much of us? How, how many of us have seen ghost stories? The ghost stories, though. Yeah, that I've is. seen Everyone some clips. Everyone loves it's that. Good. I haven't it's seen good. it. Yeah. The thing about the ghost stories, though, is more than like a joke. It's more than like a comedic. It's actually very deep and like in, insightful. Because like, I don't know. You don't want to get raped by strangers. Is it? Yeah, I agree do with you... that. Do you it's, like it as uh, uh, so bad it's good uh, thing? No, or it's, no it's, 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 just good. It, it's just good. It's, it's just good. good. There's no, it's there's no good. bad in it. It's, it's like funny. The, the characters are incredibly well characterized. You have the autistic yeah. kid, the Christian lesbian, <laughs> or like the ex-lesbian. You know, they play the game. It's so good. Um, the, the dickhead, the, the dickhead, and uh, the other girl, the the, the girl. It's so there's no irony to it. It's just good. Like, there's a fucking episode where they randomly introduce a girl who's like into big black dicks, so and he's like, okay, this is just. This... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This was officially made. These people oh, worked for a dubbing me. company. Oh, my. Yeah, and they were amazing. They were great. They were. <laughs> they did they're nothing on the same level, unfortunately. Yeah. But, like, and high school principal yeah. was a lesbian. It's confirmed. Yeah. It's pretty true. Yeah, but repressed, of course, of course as all good yeah. ones should be. She was like beaten for it. <laughs> As they should. I hate the gays. The gays are bad. Um, sure. I don't <laughs> but they reduce population, so it's good. Yes. Actually, you know what? The gays are good. The robots are telling me the gays are good. Yeah, the gays are I good. agree with the robots. Yep. Gays. I, I um, used to be gay. Alright, if... all right, all right, real quick. I want to go back to the... Uh, oh, boy. Uh, what's it called? Uh, Erica 7 or Erica AO. Uh, don't my spoil mic is turned it. off. Uh, don't real spoil quick. it. I won't. I won't. Um, I wanted to talk. I wanted to say like that kind of sounds similar to like uh, this anime called The Pet Girl of Sakura So or something like that, and it like, has like a, one of the female characters, uh, kind of love interest of the main character, kind of uh, is like she she basically overexerts herself in helping and doing things, and so she ends up like not taking care of herself well. And that is kind of a real thing, like people going so hard and not just taking care of people, like going hard and like accomplishing things and getting into things that she like overdoes everything. And that's that's so real because it's basically me. Like, so like I totally can't. It was, it's very one note of a character, but it, it's so it's so real, you know. So I think one note characters, though, they can be criticized if they're like uninteresting and all that, but they can be good. So I could totally get the 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 characters being in AO being fine. So I'll definitely check that out now that you said that. So thanks a lot. 
That's all I got hey, to say uh, about since, since we were all talking about anime, I have one... Con it's not all that controversial, but it's a little bit controversial. Uh, go ahead. Uh, I don't like Sayonara Zetsubo Sense. Uh, I can get that. I don't find it fun I, at all. I can get that. <laughs> but there's a problem with it. I say that I don't like it, but... I don't understand the reference, so I, I think that's a part of the problem. Part of the I problem mean, is on me. I can get that. <laughs> like, I I don't... <laughs> Has anyone else seen Zetsuo Sensei? I haven't. Nope. Okay, well... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I can get... I thought it was pretty funny, but I can totally get why people wouldn't like also, it. Also, I think that uh, the first season is the best one. Uh, when they uh, introduce the characters and they introduce each, each one individually. Yes, 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 yes. The characters are good, but they don't have chemistry. Uh, I don't like to seeing the characters interact with each other. Yeah. But seeing each ca character individually... Is, is good. good, is bad, but yeah. Uh, also, the the ending of the manga is fucking amazing. I haven't read they, it. They should... They, they, they should just... Don't do spoil you... F I'm, I'm not going to spoil it. I, you, I would, you would just... Say. You, you were on the anti-spoiler brand second. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not spoiling, I just said it was good. Okay, yeah. Uh, uh, go to Kiss Manga and just no, read No, no, Kiss Manga last... is fucking bad. Uh, go, uh, go to any pirate site and just read the last, I don't know, 9, 10, 11. The last channels. volume. The last uh, volume. No, no, I think, I don't know. Uh, I don't see uh, Reddit in volumes, but you can skip the anime. You can skip uh, all most chapters of the manga. Just read the ending, because they should uh, just make a movie about the ending, because it's great. Uh, and I hate Chef because they never animated the ending. They they managed to uh, animate four bullshit seasons. You, but you, they never did the best part. You can download it here. Uh, you can't read it, I think. You can just download it. Mm -hmm. I have downloaded it. Anyway, um... <laughs> Kana, Kana, you said you had a couple of things on your list. Okay. Uh, psychedelic drugs and alcohol are a big no-no for me. I mean, that's not an unpopular opinion, though. No, no! That's no! <laughs> Norm your opinion. Connor, you're a fucking I... normie. That's all we're finding out here. You're a normie who happens to like Sonic. Also, <laughs> your opinion's too reasonable to have any interesting discussion about it. You should say it's a no-no for everyone because you don't think they go deaf or no one should. It's not entertaining if you're reasonable. Yeah. I know, right? Do you think right. I actually give a shit about fucking World War One? <laughs> yeah, the journey started. I mean, I do like, give a shit about led. Franz Ferdinand, and I think they should do more anime OPs and EDs, but you know. You should listen to more of that. Anyway. You know, I, I think at this point, you should bring him back as a robot. We bring him back as a robot, we restore our strong Give him a second try. Kano, Kano. Save us. Yeah, Save yeah, us. You have, Help us. Yeah, you have another thing on your list. Yes. I, I have plenty more as well, by the way. Um, I have one more thing okay. that I just... Um, Whoever wants to go first... Okay, oh, no. so I'm gonna go first. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> pretty good, man. Nice. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, I'm just I'm just gonna take it. I'm just gonna take the mic. Um, so, the Monogatari series? Fucking gay. I don't like it. I think it's, at best, a 6 out of 10 for me. So, okay. it's, it's a good... It's good... Six out of ten is pretty good, let's be honest. Uh, but that's fair. like, it's very I, unimpressive. People talk about I, it in this like very like, oh my god, it's so interesting. Ooh, all this, oh, it's just oh, some harem. Oh, shit. It's, definitely it's definitely overrated. It. It's definitely overrated. Okay, I, I agree that it's overrated, but there are a lot of good parts about it. There yeah. are a lot of bad parts about it, but the I ones disagree. that are good are really, the, really the girls, good. The girls are incredibly hot. Yeah. The girls are incredible. I seen it. That's all but, I know. But the, uh, what's good about it is not the fact that they are hot. Uh, it's everything about the series. There, uh, there are good parts about it and bad parts. But the good parts are very, very much worth the bad part. 
Monogatari is uh, one of the series what? that I think I would like less rewatching it. Because I, when I watched uh, Awadi Monogatari season two and like the Kizu the, Monogatari movies, I felt especially just kind of dissatisfaction towards all the character stuff because I was like, well, this has been done better elsewhere. And like, really, if I think about it, this isn't all that impressive, nor do I relate to it, to it, to it that much, nor do I, you know. I, I think the Monogatari series gets better the more and more you rewatch it, in my opinion. Well, At least mm-hmm. I, 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 I don't sure. rewatch I don't rewatch the bad uh, parts about it. I just rewatch the good parts. The the Kaiki arc. <laughs> the Kaiki arc is great. Yes, Ka- mm. Kaiki, Kaiki is the best character. Oh god, damn it. Like, one, one of the best. Yeah. Everything everything about Kaiki, about Kambaru, uh, about Shinobu. Everything about that is good. The time travel arc is my favorite arc by far. The time travel arc is great. Yes. That one's nice. Uh, um, it's not my favorite, but it's one of the best. Also, yes. the, um, uh, I like the the last season, Yoari Monogatari, with Ogi. E. Um, like, so part of my reason, uh, by the way, I've only watched uh, Bake Monogatari and two episodes of Nisei. Um, oh yeah, well, Bake is like but, one of the worst ones. If if out if, of the series. So uh, if you, you if you only watch the first two episodes about Nisa, you haven't got to the Kaiki arc. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Get 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 to finish season two of Monogatari. Well, it's Nisei Monogatari, and then watch Monogatari second series. Yeah, yeah, you, the second yeah. season of Monogatari. Yes. Get to there, and then you can have a. The, Justified opinion. The second yeah. season about Monogatari is the best. Second one. series. Let's yeah. call it second that, series, so second series. that we can, like, not confuse oh, yeah. people since it's actually yeah, called so, second series, yeah. not so, like so, second not series. Nisei. Mm. Not Nisei. Yeah. Not Nisei. Nisei is good. Nisei is good. Nisei is still, Nisei's good. Good. Nisei's still uh, good, but Monogatari uh, yeah, I second need to season watch is more. better. There's so much uh, of it, and I do plan on watching it, even if I don't like it uh, that much. I do plan on watching it uh, a lot more through. I just want to say that also, like. I mean, it is just based on the first season, but, like, I don't like most of the characters, honestly. Okay. I don't. Like, I uh, like Monkey Hand Girl. I like... That was me at the start as well. Like, And uh, if, if, like if you is be... a, um, a good character yeah, yeah. because she's autistic Better. written well. Um, a well-written autistic person. So, um... She becomes what less autistic the as the series goes by. Mm. She becomes mm. less and less autistic. Everyone That's does, her right? character yeah. art. Uh, that's kind of disappointing. It, also, it I, uh, uh, Nisei, Nisei Monogatari becomes retroactively better when you mm. rewatch it after watching season two, uh, because basically every single episode of Nisei is built up for the next arcs. It, there's basically a check of gun in every minute, and you only notice it when you go back and watch it. It's mm. great. Right, yeah. I'm good. I'm good. There's, there's not much more to say other than I probably need to watch more, honestly, to have more because there's just so much of it. Like, but, so uh, I just think I don't. I don't know how. how you know, I think this show grew up so much. Us, or blew up so much. You know. You know. Mona uh, Gary found a lot of better, uh, better anime out there than Mona Gary, To be honest, <laughs> I should probably watch first. But you know. Mm. All right. Um. I would the like one to is say, screaming. Irrelevant, wanted to say something, go ahead. I would like to say that most Hayao Miyazaki endings I do not like. Oh, oh yeah. I think they are bad. Okay. Like, That's how he ends the movies. Uh, which, 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 ones in, which ones do you find particularly bad? Just, like, the only ones I think are alright are, like, Wind Rises yeah. and, like, Totoro. Well, like, didn't, the other I have endings, not seen Totoro. Of his, uh, the other endings, I'm just like, mm, what about okay, what about uh, Castle the in the Sky? I just don't like Castle in the Sky. Like, yeah, that one looks kind of disappointing. I kind of just forgot everything about it. Mm. Like, well, like, I'm um, just like, oh, oh, she kind love- of did that and flew up in the sky and was old. Yeah, I, I, I kind of hate the mm. ending of Kiki. I, I, I just kind of did not care at all. I was like, oh, this came out of kind of nowhere. Uh, the, the how, do you, I mean, how do you feel about Porco Rosso? That was alright, oh, yeah. but still, yeah. 
that, that ending was one of the better ones. But yeah, can I yeah. fucking talk, please? Yes. Yeah, the think. endings in the endings in the Miyazaki movies don't matter. What matters is the joke. Yeah, exactly. That that, that 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 that's true. That's right. I mean, the man, the man, like, have have has any of you seen a documentary, uh, the Kingdom of Dreams and Madness? No, yes, I've not. That's good. Yeah, okay. That's a good one. Basically, it reveals that Miyazaki doesn't start a movie with an ending in mind. Yeah, I exactly. Have, I already knew that. Like, that's literally what is said in his movie. Yeah, he kind of just makes it up as he goes along. Yeah. Even in The Wind Rises, they had to redo a whole part because Miyazaki changed the ending last minute. Yeah. I, I think it's one of his better ones because it's, like, so personal about his dad. Yeah. That one's really good. Also, also the um, Takahara, that one, that, that um, fucking document, documentary, that one's pretty good. Well. Uh, the one on Princess Kaguya. I haven't Maybe. seen it yet. Yeah, yeah. That, that's probably one of my favorite. Uh, I like, should Kaguya, re- Kaguya, I mean, I should rewatch Princess Kaguya. To be honest, I think I like it a lot. Rip Pakusan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Pakusan. Rest in peace. Uh, Pakuchan. Okay, okay. Anne of Green Gables right. is Takahata's masterpiece. I am. Yeah, a... I, I need to get to it. I will. I will watch it one day. Anyway, if we're done with that, I would like to say Digimon the movie, the dub. With the clusterfuck of three movies put together is my childhood and my favorite thing in the world. It is amazing. I love it. Mm. It's the perfect balance of comedy and action and just meme-tastic things. It's just great. And it's epic. It's amazing. But everyone hates it. Or at least they think it's ironic. But no, it's actually really good. I've watched it like at least 20 times. And on my latest rewatch, I found a new joke. So that says something. But mm. they hide jokes everywhere. It's pretty crazy. Like, mm. it's very nice. But everyone hates it. And I'm sad. Because of that. <laughs> hmm, okay. All right. All right, moving on. Uh... Fairy Tale is actually quite nice. I've only seen the first. 175 episodes. That sounds like a lot, but it's only like the first third, kind of. But it's actually... Like, yes, it has a lot of bullshit fan service, but they make a family out of the whole guild, and when you look back at it, it's really nice. I don't... You see, the problem I have there... No one gives a shit. (laughs) uh, The problem I have there is that... um... Uh, yeah, I don't really like the characters. I don't think they're that well, like, thought out and they're inconsistent. I I have seen some of it because my my uh, one of my friends really liked it back in middle yeah. school. Um, and like something now that I'm thinking back on it, like I don't think the characters are that well thought out, and uh, it some of the parts feel like they come out of nowhere. Uh, mm, and yeah. you know, the same thing has been done better, uh, you know, before. And in shorter, in a, you know, a quicker pace. Yeah. I can definitely agree with that. It's just, people shit on it to a high extent. But I think that's just because it's so popular. Oh, um... Sorry, what were you guys um, talking Toro, about? Toro, Toro, quickly, I'm mute, it's out there. <laughs> <laughs> what? Toro needs to go. Okay. Okay. Uh, what right, right, were right. you guys talking about? I was saying fairy tale is not as bad as everyone says it is. Okay, I have no opinion about it um, because I have no. Uh, yeah, I have no opinion. Okay, it's just not my thing, yeah. honestly. Um, yeah. Well, we would like to say like, um, goodbye to our uh, special guest for uh, bye. today. Thank you for coming on. Bye, Toro. Bye, Toro. See you again, boy. Thanks for having me. Bye. See ya. Um. Yeah. Ah. I Every exist. podcast is a gauntlet. <laughs> I, I forgot about that for a little bit. <laughs> no. I think therefore I am. Yes, I, I, I don't know what happened. I'm awake now? You phased out of existence. Uh, oh, well, stop. um, Kano, stop. Kano, you, you have another unpopular opinion you want to listen? Or like, fam, do you have another one? Um, yes, I do. Uh-huh. <laughs> But you guys can have a few. I hate all American entertainment. I can't 
think of one that I generally think is better than a six out of ten. Uh, like that's all the American Entertainment is bad. Spider Man. There are so many good uh, yeah. American movies. Okay, one second. I'm gonna go to my movie. Spy Kids. Is a Spider Man. Spy Kids. Bam. Spy Kids is great. Yeah, but isn't, isn't Kids, the guy yeah. Mexican? Yeah, but like. No, he's, he's, he's from Texas. Cow. He's actually from Texas. Oh, okay, oh, never Texas mind. Right, good. Oh, yeah, he wears a cowboy hat, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, he's I think so, uh, his family's from Mexico, but I'm not sure. Okay, so. Okay. I. I, 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 I Honestly, I have to I have to say that like not all yeah there's some stuff I'd say I say is like a six out of ten or higher, um, but like oh my god just how consistently I don't like this stuff, I am blown away by it every time I think about it, just like any movie in theaters ever. Nope. Uh, you like Pulp Fiction or ten Disney years movies. in the past? There must um, be some most, Disney movies you like. Nah, I mean I like Mulan a little bit. Do- um, have you seen Doctor Strange Love or like uh, Pulp Fiction or something? Yeah. No, like I haven't Kubrick seen Kubrick or everything done by Kubrick, everything by, uh, like, done by um, Tarantino. Uh, Nolan has done a lot of good movies. There are so many good American movies. This is one of my like, favorites. One of my, uh, one of my favorite um, American movies, uh, or is uh, The Shining. And yeah. honestly, like that's like. Honestly, like a seven out of ten. Honestly, hmm. like I, I like having watched it, but I will not watch it ever again. I don't remember the highs being that high while watching that movie. It oh, and I, I, uh, I also it's just like one of my favorite things. Uh, American entertainment is a seven. That's pretty sad, and I'm sure like I'm going a little hard on it right now, but like. In retrospect, uh, like I just consistently am not. God, have you seen Army of Darkness? Or, like any no. Evil Dead? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, oh. we'll have to watch so much after this. Help! That's a nice one. Like, I don't know. Or well, like yeah. the thing. Have you seen? Have you seen Schindler's List? No. Like the thing. I think this is a fucking. The, both of those movies, I'd give somewhere between like an eight and a ten. F of Fake is a 10, Army of Darkness is like 8 or 9, and the thing is like 8 or 9. Mm. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. fuck, he left. Scorn left again. He, uh, he forgot. Rip. Uh, maybe his uh, Discord was oh, no. dysfunctioning, like usual. Um, yeah, he might just come back. Oh, he's back. Hopefully. Yeah, yeah he does come back. Alright, I'm gonna have to throw all this stuff onto like Planter Watches, and I'm gonna have to start up a series. Where I just like the old movie project. I watch, I watch all the recommendations you guys give of good like Western stuff. And Tom, then I talk the old about movie project. Oh, you're like Bam. twelve Angry Men. Twelve Angry Men is good. If, if you need a co-host, I'll I'll do that. I haven't watched movies either. I need to watch Sounds movies. Sounds like a plan. Um, also, okay, so now now we're doing this. Um, someone start a video game podcast with me. I need I need motivation. <laughs> Vamp, want to start a video game podcast? Uh, yeah. Alright, oh, cool. A lot of podcasts. This is me and Bob. We're going to do 10 different podcasts together. I'm also going to be on... I just want to do more them. podcasts. I want to talk more. Yeah, I want to talk more with you guys, too. It's hey, Vamp, want to have gay sex? Um, you know, I'm willing to try. It's... Uh, <laughs> we, should make a <laughs> we should do a meetup. Yeah. Uh, a Nord meetup. Know. That would be expensive. Um, well, you know, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, it, it wouldn't be... Let, let's be honest, for Kano, for Kano, Simao, and, and me, it wouldn't be that expensive. Yeah. It would just be flying, I like, mean, Scorn, you could take the fucking train. You fuckers are coming to, like, my place. No, no, <laughs> you can take the you... fucking train, we're going somewhere in Europe. I'm... <laughs> Am I the only American Wait. here? Yes. Yes. Oh, Irrelevant to uh, Australian. I'm going to Europe, alright. Irrelevant, drill yeah, a fucking hole through the earth, and uh, yeah, it'll be good. Yeah, I need to start a Kickstarter to get to Europe. <laughs> no fun. Sure. That's after we get the Kickstarter to get send a monkey and Digi to North Korea, though. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>. yes. <laughs> We're doing this. It's gonna happen. It will. Oh, boy. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What a fucking nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Kano, you have any more unpopular opinions? Yes. 
You still awake? But a rational wait. A rational hate for the number seven. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That's a good one. A good Why? One. <laughs> I don't know. It's just it's the worst number of the the single bit. Oh, you mean know, worst single You mean you number. mean you mean like uh, you mean like Hitler? Yeah, just <laughs> reduce just the rational hatred of him. <laughs> just feel like yeah, the worst. Just, just fuck. <laughs> yeah, just feel um, like they don't live up to the point, to the idea. That, apparently, seven seven is a very important number in a lot of religions. Yes. So like in the Old Testament, God rests for six days, and on the seventh day, like he, re- I mean, he like he does say it for six days, then he rests on the seventh day. Fuck yeah, but God is a God fucking is God is a hack fraud. The hit. week should be six yeah. days long. God is a hack fraud. Yeah. If you ever met God, talk to the guy. He's a fucking asshole. <laughs> yeah, I fucking me and Bump had like a fucking dinner day with him like last week. <laughs> Piece of shit didn't show up. Doesn't even invite me. Was that before or after the gay sex? God doesn't like you. God doesn't think Australians are souls, unfortunately. He he makes us not exist, though. The yeah, you mutual. don't exist. You're a figma of our imagination. Of course. <laughs> I mean, yeah. oh, God. how else do you explain Australia? Like, yeah. Fucking convicts. A country of convicts and fucking people from everywhere. It's mm. really unrealistic. Yep. They weren't even invaded by Japan during World War Two. Mm, like, no. Well, of course, Japan's right there. Why wouldn't they invade it? Ugh. We got fucking Indeed. bombed. Why not? <laughs> it's really, it's really it's just like a, a fucking excuse to like the brace of using to like hide the fact that they just like dropped a bunch of pieces into the ocean and killed them all. <laughs> <laughs> this is a legitimate conspiracy theory. I'm saying people actually mm. believe this. Like Australia know, doesn't exist. <laughs> That the kind of sad. It's very it's sad. sad. Anyway, I, I want to say I had a lot of fun with Suicide Squad. Me too. Really I hate going I, to the fucking. Bad. I I I, it's I like, like good because it's bad. It's good because it's bad. Never like, no. Uh, like no. Like I enjoyed so- Suic- I enjoyed Suicide Squad because I I went to see it to the theaters uh, with a bunch of friends and we had a lot of fun. Yeah, it's a it, movie you can it was, it it was purely because of the people who I went to see with. Yeah, well, yeah you can watch a movie at home as well. Hell, and not have to pay fifteen but, bucks. Yeah, that's true. Right. But, and not have uh, people, uh, fucking annoying fucking kids or like old people but, behind you constantly but, talking no over the movie. fucking movie. But there's movie. a difference. There's a difference between seeing a movie in the small TV. And in the yeah. big screen. Just buy a fucking forty dollar Chinese projector, <laughs> goddammit. Get with the times, but Grandpa. It, it's the thing about I, going out and seeing something, like especially going out. My own, uh, my own. I can, I'm not gonna lie. Like I can go my out to the fucking church center. tower and really just see, my, see, see my all aunt, across the uh, town. That's gorgeous. The cinema in the middle of nowhere. So maybe I should uh, buy mm. your equi- equipment. Actually, I. Hey, you have anything right. you want to say? <laughs> yes, I still have a few more things to talk about. Okay, right. so before you, you fall asleep, I'll, I'll come back to. I'll come back to Suicide Squad. Okay. okay. I have an irrational love for Sans Undertale memes, even though I have only completed the games <laughs> once with one ending. <laughs> what mm. game? Undertale. Really Sans really Undertale. So just the memes of Sans Undertale. Okay, Undertale. I have not played Undertale. I know nothing about that game other than it's popular and that pu- uh, ooh, uh, it was MatPat. MatPat uh, offered the game to the Pope. Oh God! Like, MatPat the God. Did he actually do that? He did. Yes, yes. Did. And the Pope didn't even like the game. What the oh, hell dude. was he thinking? <laughs> It's, it's, yeah, he made this whole video literally about like, oh, we gotta, we gotta show games off. We gotta like, it was a big like whole like, why is standing like, why like, is he still big figure? Why do people watch games, him? He makes terrible fucking content. Oh, that's an I mean, unpopular opinion. Like, he just makes people, terrible people, fucking content. People, uh, people watch um, Jeff too. So why not? Um, 
Match pets. Does, I was doesn't, ja- does, doesn't, doesn't fucking Jeff literally a guide of a game theory? What? Isn't Jeff literally a guide for a game theory? Yes, he literally he is. Be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I, I saw I, Vamp talking about this I've heard this, this confirmed somewhere. I can't say where. I think it's on his Twitter. I think it's literally on his Twitter. Probably. He's probably jacks off to it every day. Oh, yeah. I write for MapCat. <laughs> like, what? I'm a writer. It's pretty much this fucking same. Unimpressive. Can I just read something about Bad Path for a moment? Yes, yes. Uh, he, uh, he did a review or just like a theory on Persona 4. And he called the attendant uh, at the Velvet Room the wrong fucking name because he used the one for Persona 3 and not the Persona 4. Yeah. And that's all I have to say. He wow. that's, that's such a, a, that's such a minor thing. thing to have a problem with. <laughs> yeah. But, <laughs> why, like, the two, I, two characters are completely different and that's why I, ha- I hate him because he didn't play the game and probably <laughs> people that wrote that uh, script didn't even play the game, and they just wanted to make a theory because Persona Five was coming out or something. Yeah. W- breaking news: literally on Jeff's Twitter, he has that he's a writer for Map Hat. I mean, that's, yeah. that's a pretty big thing, though. Good for it you. It is. He probably. Uh, so, it's probably good for business to put it I, on there. Thanks. I reach, I, yeah, I actually makes... respect Jeff because he makes money. Yeah. He he, he makes money, money out of people's stupidity. Money. He's he's at least yeah, but priorities. Like, straight. a lot of people make money. Why? Why would you? <laughs> but yes, but, but he, he makes more he, money. He, he makes more money, and he exactly. he managed to find uh, a good way to make money. Okay. Uh, yeah, by making shit content for the yes. normie. Okay. Yeah. I respect that. I can no respect that. Consume content I, as well. I I don't respect his content. I but I respect the fact. That he managed to find a good way to make money. And I mean, if we're, if we're all advertising for family. like swindling people, sure. A, a popular, unpopular opinion: you should have to, uh, you should have to have a license to raise a child. You should have to go to a class yes. and like yes. you have to like do monthly regulations where like they fucking should. make sure you're still good for it. This doesn't have any physical, literally yeah. just psychological. That like you were actually stable. That like you actually treat your child well. Yes. That like the child is like yes. expected to make sure you aren't yes. fucking with them. But like uh, the same for pet owners as well. They should have yeah, to but do like, the same. But like you know, the only reason they haven't done that is that it costs a shitload of money. And and they, like who would fucking vote for that? Yeah. It's, fucking pet. Who would it, vote for it, that? I would. But like it's an unpopular opinion because fuck toddlers want to raise their kids because fuck toddlers don't know any better. It, that's it, this is why robots should it, take it, over. This is literally would, why robots should take over. Stupidity won't be a thing it, anymore. It it would cost a lot of money. Yeah, it would that's what cost I said. A lot of time to a lot of people, and it will be unconstitutional, unconstitutional everywhere. Um, uh, mm-hmm. I say we get rid of every the constitution country. of every country <laughs> and replace it with a robot. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Great. I'm glad we picked it out. I'm I'm gonna start, I'm gonna propose this in the parliament now. How's the comment? I'm coming. <laughs> I salute me. Ruin our countries. Yeah. First the UK parliament, then I'm gonna be in the United States, then we're gonna invade Russia. Maybe if Boris yeah. Johnson becomes the next prime minister. And then control Australia from UK, please. <laughs> okay, next. Like, no. Ursa the queen. Ursa the queen, please. Wait, no, you're you're being left there. Oh. I was the next unpopular opinion. Save me. Save me. Who is the next Fuck. unpopular opinion? Uh, I, 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 I can still go for Suicide Squad. Oh, well, okay. I, I have one yeah. or two things to say. Go for it. I'm going to mute myself. Right. Go so, for it. The bar scene where they're all just fucking about and just saying, yeah, we're fucking stupid, but we're doing this shit. That's hilarious. This is a slight spoiler, but when they and when they announce everyone, they say, "Oh, this is this person. This is this person." There's yes. one person they like don't talk about at all. It's like, "Oh, Slipknot or something." I can't remember. Actually, that's a metal band, I think. But anyway, I can't even remember this no. guy's name. That's how much <laughs> they don't explain this guy. That's and then the one who dies. They, yeah, yeah exactly. dies. he instantly <laughs> dies. He instantly dies. That's it's so that's fucking that's hilarious. That's it's that's so that's predictable. That's <laughs> It's so predictable. People, he just died. People, people were predicting that on the internet before the movie was even released. Exactly. It's so funny. <laughs> he just 
No one so gives a shit about him, so he instantly dies. <laughs> that's, the be- that's one of the best parts of the movie. I must it admit, it's, it's so funny, holy shit. It is. And, and then you have just a bunch of old pop songs which you can sing along to, it's really nice. Like, That's fair, I, I, I understand now. And also, Amanda Waller is a good heinous bitch. She, she, she's a good character. Well, well not really. Just the way she's written and the thing about her character is just good because she she just does not get, she just wants to kill everyone really and get her job done, but she she's a really good handless yeah. bitch I must say. All right. Yes. Do we? Are you ready for an even worse take? <laughs> Go for it. Ugh. Ghost in the Shell live action. I went to see it in the cinema second day it was out and that was a really fun experience. I okay. forgot that existed. I had a lot of fun with it. Like, I went with friends. One didn't know anything about Ghost of the Shell. Like, completely oblivious. One knew about stuff. Like, had seen movies and stuff. The first half of the movie, we were laughing at it. It was, like, kind of, like, fucking the most ironic shit. Just making jokes at the own... It's own Oh, we're going to be Ghost in the Shell, but not really. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's like, literally this part where it's like, it literally cop and taking, it's like, I will find this person, I will kill it. God, Scar Joe, she's just looking at the screen. It's just fucking... Oh, oh that it's sounds so good. I need to watch this now. It's good. It's But but it's kind of, that's like the first half, it's kind of ironic. Like, if you know about Ghost in the Shell, and you, you like, have fun with it, and you think it's just a meme... Then it's good. Okay, I've got it an unpopular good. opinion. I think... Hold on, just... let, let, can you let me finish the yeah, sure. show at least? Alright. And then the second half, you, shit gets serious, and it's just like, oh, you get this nice story about, oh, she goes with her mother. She has a mum. She's a human. And basically, the movie is basically anti-Ghost in the Shell, where Ghost in the Shell is fuck it, become one with the robots and the system. And this one is basically the anti and wants you to become human. And it's like, humanity is good. It's trash. Like, it sucks. It's horrible. I, know, I hate I it. Know. It is kind it's of trash. Propaganda. That's why everyone hates it. That's why everyone hates it. But for what it's doing, it's nice. I have to say. Okay. Um, I think that's about If the robots yeah. were in charge, this like, movie would... Anyone who watches this movie would be shot. Yeah, basically. Um, And the, the scenes they copy directly from the movie... It's like they've done it differently, so that it has like the opposite feeling of it. If you, if I you, I haven't like, seen the movie. Like, I've listened to some of the soundtrack, and I want to kill myself. I have another uh, controversial okay. opinion. Uh, All right, I want to. I had a, a thing yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, master first, then you can go. Okay. I think. Okay. <clears throat> I think Ghost in the Shell, nineteen ninety-five, uh, Mamoru Oshii directed film is overrated and I don't think it's great. Fuck you. I don't think it's great. I think it's good but not great. I, I like what it's trying to do but what it's trying to do isn't like sure it's technically impressive and whatnot, and but it's not entirely myosphatic either but like what it's trying to do is like stuff that already has been like done what, what, that the director has already like covered in like Angel's Egg and like a uh, beautiful dreamer and mm-hmm. uh, talking head yeah, okay. to some extent. And it's like, That's it's fair. not, I don't think it's as engaging and as like fun and playful as those movies. And the, the tone that Ghost in the Shell is trying to go for isn't like, isn't strong enough for me. It doesn't really grab me. Whereas like Pat Labor 2, the movie you made right before that has a kind of similar tone going for it. And like that is, I do find that one really compelling. Okay, I have another controversial opinion. Go ahead. Uh, the, do you know the movie Watership Dawn? Oh, yeah. The one with the rabbit. Yes, yes, the, the, the British animated oh, one. I need to see that. that. I need to see that. That <laughs> movie was, if you remove the shock value, it's boring as fuck. Uh, I, I believe you. It's it's yeah. too too fucking long and not enough blood. There There are a lot of gory scenes, but they're just there. Uh, the movie is boring. Yeah, I think it's just famous People, because it was like one of the yes. first of its time. Also, the it was the, it was one of the first in America. 
Yeah. Also, I, I like the aesthetic of the movie. I like the way the bunnies are drawn realistically. But the, the movie is too fucking long to his own good. Yeah. Have you seen it? Uh, I've seen part of it. Of course you've seen part of it. You can't watch the entire thing at once. No, I like no I've seen like on television I've seen part of it. Okay. Uh five years ago or something. Yeah. I don't care about great visuals or great music. It's just if it's bearable it's good enough. What do you, like what do you mean by that? That's too vague. So okay. For an example, old anime has great visuals, but if it has good enough visuals, it's good enough for me. Like, for example, comparing old anime with a uh, new anime, uh, old anime has probably better animation, but that doesn't mean anything to me. Yeah, I, I get that. Okay, that's fair. I, I, I can get that. I, I'm giving up on quality. Uh, I, I'm, I, there's an echo now, but anyone who's got this far doesn't give a shit. Okay. <laughs> um... <laughs> You said before that you don't think direction is important, and like, you, 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 I don't really get why you don't think direction is important, or like can have any well, impact on because, an experience. It's because I I like storytelling more than I like actual shot composition and everything like that because like, I don't really care. Is yeah, shot composition yeah. is surely the telling. They're one the same. Yeah. Can no difference. Like Roger Ebert has the uh, has this great quote that it doesn't matter what the movie says it's it's the way he, he, it says it and the more and more you watch old movies and anime and all that shit the more that became everything is the because, same but you know whatever. because everything is the same all stories are, are the same the the only difference is the way the stories are told so the way the stories um, are um, told are is more important than the stories themselves I don't like okay, okay. but like um Kano Kano what like yeah. you you've said this before but I I don't and I don't get it like you said that 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 like you, I think you 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 think that shot composition and like technical visu visual storytelling cannot land itself to a story Well it's not the thing it's like okay is it's just if you have bare minimum of what is required for animation uh, and the best animation you could possibly have is just the same to me. Animation okay. isn't fucking important. But, okay, animation isn't that important. Yeah. It's more about like direction. It is more about how can you incorporate characters, character elements and the story plot itself into the visuals how can you make the visuals reinforce that so that the characters feel deeper feel richer that's what good direction does mm. well the thing is i probably good just don't understand the direction like because i just noise. don't like, i don't understand the direction so I, the only direction i actually appreciate is at the, at the rights movies and that's about it <laughs> mm. That's because um, you watched like, one frame of F one frame of painting videos, and like you just accepted that as fact. I haven't seen a single. I know this because that's why I I've, just seen, uh, I've seen only Scott Pilgrim, and that's it. Uh, controversial opinion: I don't like Scott Pilgrim the movie. I haven't seen it. Yeah, that's fine. It's overrated. It's a good movie. It's overrated. It's not its best. Yeah, definitely. Baby Driver is is better. Uh, mm -hmm. Hot Fuzz is much, much better. By far the 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 best one I've seen of him. I agree with this. Hot Fuzz is probably well, the is my favorite. What? Vamp, have you watched anything from Edgar? I. Uh, I don't think so. Okay, good. Maybe we can still be watch. friends. Go, go watch Hot Fuzz. <laughs> yeah. Hot, uh, no, what's in order? What's um first uh, Son of the Dead, then that, and then the other one. Honestly. I think Kano, and I don't want to make any assumptions here, so tell me if I'm wrong, Kano. But I think you just, when you watch a show, you don't worry about direction at all. It's like yeah. there's other priorities you have on your mind. And I think that's why you're saying this. It's because, like, I mean, I, th I think it's hard to disagree that with direction is, like, in everything. And it's all, like, it's intrinsically part of the execution of things but it's definitely not like anything you were concerned about i'm sure you don't really know that many directors or watch specifically yeah yeah i, I know but anything. like 
Um, would, yeah. would you say I'm right in saying what I have, Kano? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I con- the controversial opinion. All movies aren't very good. Because, like, there's a lot of um, weight given to them for being, like, old I, and shit. I think there I mean, are... There are a lot of old movies that people just appreciate because of their historical ver- uh, value. Yeah, and I, I the mind fact that, that they were like important. When it's like, but I don't there, think... there are old famous movies that are boring today, and there are a lot of old movies that are still great and that are still amazing and that are much better than most things that are done today. For example, I agree uh, with that, but I feel like. A... I feel like a lot is given to like very basic things that have happened in the past. Like we watched I, Time to Fucking Will. It was fucking shit. Yeah, I agree. So- I agree. But they had but, like probably had like unique pioneering in like a lot of technology. Yeah, stuff. yeah, and I probably like no, the most amount of people shot on film at the time. It's it's just fucking. It's, so it's just empty. Movie. It's just empty and nothing, and no one should ever watch it. Go watch your Jimbo. It's great. Yes. It's. I'm not uh, arguing that all all stuff is bad. I'm certain there's like some that's great. It's just like yeah. a lot of stuff is like you know, or given a lot more it's... than what. Oh it's yeah, I agree, I agree completely. I agree with you. Uh, mm-hmm. For example, Nosferatu is an old movie that's boring as fuck. Yeah, I've heard that from uh, multiple people. Only know what I'm... There's a lot of old stuff I like. I'm gonna talk about live action for a bit, I guess. Um, I really like the, um, and I've been watching some more of them. The, the German expressionist movement. Uh, you guys know what Pretty that legit is? Movement. Yeah, I like it. It's got uh, like all the, the the aesthetic is just really yeah. That, that, those movies are about that aesthetics. It is really the aesthetic informing the narrative and like kind of you know it, it's about the emotions and the feelings and like it conveys I should that. Watch Caligari eventually. Yeah, Caligari is great and Metropolis was fucking great. One of my favorite movies probably. Hold on, I got one. Yeah. Um, okay. So wait. I hate when people. Uh, my brother, uh, my brother specifically, critis- uh, like criticizes this. So I like listen to like a G- like Japanese song or something, and I'll just love it, and I'll just oh yeah, mm, so good. But then, there you go. One, a good one. Think more so. Okay, go ahead. So, <laughs> so when um, so it's like. The criticism being stated is like something like, well, they could be saying literally anything. <laughs> like, they could be saying, fuck you, American, you fucking pig, or something. They'll like say something like that. And it's just like, yeah, they could be saying that, but I'd be fine with that because the voices are pretty and I like it. Yeah. You know? I agree with you. But who fucking like, gives a shit about that stuff? Like, I just think about like some of my favorite songs. They have all based around vocal. Yeah. You know, satisfaction. I'm satisfied by hearing nice vocals, honestly. And like, uh, I'm not, Aria. I do like lyrical songs. Like, I like the lyrics. But uh, like, Aria, the animation honestly, has like, fucking great vocal to, tracks. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Um, I just think it's like, I'm sure, I'm sure that's like a like, not a, like most noise, but like I'm sure it can be a pretty popular thing, popular like, opinion. Thank you, you know, like um, English like, songs on, that I can. Like even mm. songs in like English lose their meaning sometimes. So like, yeah. yeah. Honestly, so like, like most English songs and raps and stuff I hear, I can't even understand the first couple I times don't I like hear it. So it's like I don't, it's a big I don't meme. like rap. Mm. That's a controversial mm. opinion. I don't like rap. It sucks. Well, I don't. All like rap the music are the same. All rap I songs just, are the same. I've literally only listened to like DJ Brown like two other guys, but like yeah. They play, I think they're pretty distinct enough. I like DJ bro, but I don't hear his music. That is fair. <sighs> it's just like, um, music is that weird thing. Because, like, there's so many different, like, it feels a lot more varied than everything else. But, like, n- for no good reason. Because it's like, there's like 20 Honestly. different kinds of one type of music. But it's like, it's just like, it's like electric pop, boogaloo foo. And uh, and this oh no that's not no sir, no that this is um electric pop dance boogie for like okay I don't care yeah. but I'm also terrified because I don't want to talk to someone about it because you're like what if I look like an idiot what if I don't know the difference between a luga luga la four and gagi za six what they will think less of me yeah 
Aria has a great it's Pokemon it's songs. Scary. I should rewatch all of Aria. Aria is one Why of the. I've never listened to him, uh, the Parasite OP. Like Parasite Dynamite. Yeah, that one's good as well. Oh yes, shit, I just like remembered. Organs. Scorn. Scorn. Yes. Uh, uh, I, rem- I, I don't know if you're the one who shared this around, but there's this uh, uh, song that's based on a, a song that um, was talked about in uh, Valhalla. It's the jazz song that the robot idol girl said that she used to do that jazz song when she used to, to go to jazz clubs and perform there or something and it was made in english and it's this whole like full-blown nice jazz song and i was just thinking about how night how uh, like amazing the vocals are and how literally like i would have enjoyed it even if it was like a japanese voice or really any other language because i um, still like the vocals you know just something on, that's pretty interesting i don't know how much of a you've ever uh, do you know um, the automata there's like three yes. different ending themes. It's the same song sung in three different languages. So the first one is English. The second one is Japanese. The third one is Chaos Language, which the singer made up of like a bunch of other da- languages. Mm-hmm. So like, it, it's a really great song that you can hear three different like times. The vocalist has great range. Like a fucking English song uh, for three different, with like a Japanese. Fucking, what's the phrase? F- F- uh, the... Um, it's Nier Automata, Weight of the World. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, the the I think the composer of um, Cowboy Bebop, among other things, uh, she, she's she's worked on a lot of stuff, especially with like yeah, yeah. G Gundam and uh, Ghost in the Shell. Uh, they have insert songs and OPs that are like composed of three or four different languages, and I think it's it sounds really nice. A, have you seen a, a web cartoon called Ahmed and Salim? No. 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 So it's uh, about a bunch of terrorists. Oh. <laughs> you you've seen I, it, I know right? The one. I know the one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The kind so, of Al Akbar kind of terror. Yes. Yeah. The, yeah. the, the kind oh, of yeah. the Al Al Akbar kind of terrorists. Uh, but they speak a, a made-up language in that cartoon. Uh, that's a, a mix-up of a lot of different languages, and um, uh, some of the words. Are jokes in the made-up language? Uh, the word suicide is Kurt Cobain, <laughs> for example. Hell yeah! <laughs> uh, um, I don't. And, I, I, I see none of you and, heard of it. And Many of you the, word, heard the word, the uh, word, the word violence in that cartoon is Mortal Kombat. <laughs> <laughs> Mortal Kombat. <laughs> um, have any of you um, heard of uh, Four Lions? I don't think you would have. Uh, have you? Nope. What? Um, it's a mockumentary about terrorism, like terrorists. It's very good. Mm. It's like it's important to me because it was like a, it was this childhood thing basically. It was the big meme when I was in school. Like entirety of school, you could just say double diggy rapids, bro, and like everyone would fucking laugh at it. It is it, one of those fucking memes that like it was my childhood, but it basically didn't exist anywhere else. But like it's literally just a thing about ter- terrorism. It's like the terrorists are kind of fucking stupid, aren't they? And one of them trips over the sheep and dies. <laughs> one like um, starts. One like chokes on like fucking uh. Yeah, yeah. He chokes on curry, and like a random guy tries to like help him, and he like blows up. Yeah, one of the guys' plans is literally he's like so the Muslim terrorists. Like, so he's like he's like we'll have to blow up a mosque because if we do that, then we'll piss them off. We'll piss off Muslims enough to like go and the harder. It's great because at one point like that's fucking stupid and like no it's like in a fight where like you need to get like you need to punch yourself in the face to get pissed off so you can knock the other guy out. I was like that's fucking dumb. I was like don't <laughs> prove it then. And so it's like so like the guy punches him but he's like tapping him like doing it hard enough so like he punches himself in the face and knocks himself out. Also this I think this oh, was like yeah. a meme where like cell phones like uh, for no. me at least it was the meme where like you know like SIM cards like can be tracked by the government because one of the guys is like <laughs> you just eat them and they can't track it anymore. It's like but then they'll be able to track you wherever you're going, like, fuck you. It was a good game. I need to find it again. By the way, you should definitely watch Ahmed and Salim. It's unironically good. I, I, I agree. The, I agree the, the, uh, the, 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 the sons of the terrorist guy are uh, <laughs> sympathetic characters. Yeah, like, <laughs> they, uh, you want to. They are, you, yeah, okay. you want them to live their lives 
and, uh, yeah. and be stupid millennium. Yeah, because that was happening basically... in the core lines. At one point, like, basically... the white it's like... They are basically millennial 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 terrorists. They have iPhones. They play video games. They make uh. a pop culture reference, uh, but they just happen to be sons of a terrorist. Mm. And they they don't care about terrorism. It's just a thing. It's just the is uh, their pa uh, their fa father's uh, profession. Mm. It's just it's just a meme to them. It's hilarious. They it's just care. a meme, basically. I'll definitely try this out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah definitely legit. watch it. Uh, watch the um, the Christmas special one. <laughs> oh boy, no, this quality. The the first episodes were not as good, in my opinion. Okay. All right. I'm gonna do one more. Go ahead. Is that, is that, I feel nothing from Perfect Blue. I think it's a good movie, but I feel nothing, and I do not care about it at all. Okay, that's reasonable. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I've never watched it, but I feel like I'd feel the same, honestly, and that's why I haven't watched it. There, there yeah. are a lot of movies that I think they are perfect from a technical point of view, but that I don't have any personal investment. Uh, uh, yeah, totally. Perfect Blue is one of them. I liked Perfect Blue and I liked the character. Uh, I thought it was nice. I, 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 liked, I liked watching Perfect Blue. Yeah, I, 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 I really enjoyed I the care. experience of watching it. Um, yeah. I think uh, on, a, yeah, on a technical level especially it's great and nothing else that Farm has done. Like Except like the first like opening 10 minutes of Paprika live up to it really. I think there's, there's like so much um, imaginative shot compositions. Yeah. Um, I liked character. Yeah, you like nice and spooky. Yeah, Satoshi Khan is like a fucking. He's a no, god. Oh boy, a popular opinion time. <laughs> uh, I don't think Whoa. Satoshi Khan is a great director. Do you want to know what? I don't think we can uh -oh. be friends. <laughs> Why not? Have because you seen Paranoia Agent? Paranoia I have Agent seen Paranoia amazing. Agent. Yes, yes I have. It's an amazing Yeah, I have seen anime. it, yeah. Uh, yeah someone asked me if I had seen ones. it. Yes, I've seen it. Do you like it? Yes, I, I really like it. Okay. That's all I want to know. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. Something he's going to blow up. But I, I think, I don't think, like, sure, um, Satoshi Khan does a lot of interesting oh, stuff. Me, uh, with, food. Like, Satoshi Khan does a lot of interesting stuff with, like, movement, uh, movement into depth, um, stuff yeah. like that, and, like, scenes transforming into each other. And that's interesting, but I don't think, like, uh, I do don't like that style as much as like mm. my favorite directors, I guess. Yeah, it can it can be a little bit gimmicky or like people probably praise it a bit too much. I do like it a lot personally, but um, from what I've seen of his films, which I haven't seen them all, like I don't, uh, I think like like especially Millennium Actors, I think is one of the most overrated movies because it's like it's which one? Mel Millennium Actress like I really like Tokyo Godfather it's a really well written movie he didn't write that but um, I think he only wrote Perfect Blue and Paranoia Agent and Paprika uh, but like yeah I think Paranoia was the best one yeah I think it, Paranoia Agent is, is, is his best written one too but mm, um, definitely. I don't like Millennium Actress I think it's like it has a good soundtrack but like the stuff it does technically is like it's it's too much of the same and it's too gimmicky. Like it feels like oh it feels like like the he plotted the movie out um, around some of the gimmicks he wanted to do, and then he couldn't think of any more gimmicks halfway through the movie, and then it ends. Yeah. Rest in peace, Satoshi yeah. Khan. You could have gotten better. Before you died. Yeah. A little bit. 
Life's a bitch um, and then you die. Yeah. I mean, I need to watch a bit more of his other stuff like Tokyo Godfathers and the Millennium, uh, whatever it's called. Millennium Actors. Um, uh, yeah, that one. Because, I mean, I'm going to be honest, I've only seen like two things from <laughs> which is Paranoia Agent and Paprika. Paprika is a lot more unimpressive than yeah. Paranoia Agent. Yeah. But like, just the way, like his directing style... And it seems like his interests, at least based upon those two movies I've seen, like, just seem to have so much impact for me personally. I don't even know if, like, it's even, like, that impressive, but it does, it just, it's just good. And it's weird just how, like, it just resonates so easily with me. Yeah. I... Not easily, but, like, it seems to just, like, put things in a way. That I get way more interested in. Like I could see other people, other directors, attempting anything like Paprika, and just it being utterly like boring as hell. Uh, Ooh, Inception. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, Inception yeah. Inception is great. I think that but Inception think, is a better uh, movie than Paprika. Like I think, I don't think I think Satoshi Kon is a bit too much of like. He, it's obvious that, like, his mentors were. His mentors were um, Katsuhiro Otomo and Rintaro. And you can really yeah. tell tell that on him. But I don't think... Like, the stuff he does himself isn't... I don't think, like, it resonates with me as well as, like, actually the stuff Otomo or Rintaro directed. Otomo directed Akira and Rintaro directed a um, whole bunch of shit. Memories. Yeah. That's a Controversial movie. opinion. I think that Inception is a better movie than Paprika. Controversial opinion. I haven't seen Inception. Controversial opinion. I haven't seen Paprika. <laughs> oh, no. Controversial opinion, obviously, either. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Come at me, Scrubs. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I kind of have one more. Brotherhood, I do not like. Formal Alchemist Brotherhood. Well, I kind of do, but... For me, it's a kick in the face to what O3 did. Yep. And that was, like, yep. one of my favorite yep. anime. I, I completely I agree. I think that um, if you put the two anime together, you get a good product. But neither of them is perfect. Like, no, uh, I think, I, no, no. I like, I really I like, like the, the first 25 episodes, like, the th no, 35 episodes of O3. And then I think it kind of loses it and it tries to do too I much agree. in too little I time. I, I, I totally agree. I think that... But I don't think Brotherhood... anything in Brotherhood... I don't think anything in Brotherhood is as good as O3. I disagree. I think that the story is better in Brotherhood, but the aesthetics like, I think, I think that are the, better in Brotherhood. I, I, in Brotherhood. Brotherhood is just too clean. Brotherhood just goes one th one plot point to another. Yeah, and I don't think no the Dwarf and the Flask the stuff is as interesting as like the Dante stuff, to be honest. I, yeah. you think that the. Can you repeat? I don't think the, the dwarf in the flask stuff is as interesting as the Dante stuff. I disagree. Agreed. It's basically the story of Frank, the what did you say? monster. I said I, I agree. Yeah. Uh, it's, I it's disagree. Like meme. I think that the dwarf in the flask is a better villain. I don't think so. It's basically a Frankenstein monster, <laughs> but more complex. And... Uh, like, I don't get what the meaning of the flask next. monster is. It's like basically, like, basically, end, like why is he like? But get it. Like I like the, I like the, the I like the theme of family in in Full Metal Alchemist O3. It's a really big theme. You like the theme of family in in Full Metal Alchemist O3. It's a really big theme and really big yeah. part of it. What? And like the whole Dante stuff, it all fits into that so nicely. It it, it kind of sucks how that kind of went yeah. through itself of a cliff and whatnot. But, like, it, it, it could have been like good. I, I, Dante I like, is, like, no one gives a shit about her. And she's, like, yes. some loner, edgy kid. So it shows that they've developed. They used to be those kids that just wanted their arms back. Yeah. But throughout the show, they realized other things are more important. Like, in, 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 so in Afro, it seems... That also happens in Brotherhood. No, in Brotherhood, it's they way more sudden. In, in Brotherhood, like, in, in Afro, O3, it built really nicely. It's um, kind of like a world masterpiece yeah. theater show in that way. Like, it built... Like, the, the problem... The problem like... with Brotherhood is that the ending sucks. 
the the, uh, the brotherhood, no, yeah. not brotherhood, not brotherhood, the O3. Uh, yeah, but I don't think anything region, in brotherhood is as good as the majority of O3. I disagree. I think movie. that the the, uh, the side characters are better in uh, brotherhood. No, the brothers are better in O3. But I the, don't the think side the side characters. That... The fucking. But I. Mm. I don't think. Also, I don't. O3 is full of filler. Bullshit filler. Yeah, that's, that why, it's good. Feel... that's why it's good. The fi- no, it's not filler. No, the filler. It's not. Sucks. You fucking idiot. The filler, you idiot. The, the filler is character development. No, the filler is character development. Exactly. No, it is. Right. Filler that uh, is character development is good. The, you like a seven has a lot of stuff like that. The the filler episodes don't fit with the world build, building. I don't. I I disagree. The, uh, I disagree. Um, I yeah, think well, one, e- one episode. Every time, That's every one time, time there's that... a consistent theme amongst the filler. It's like one episode was directed by one guy who like never heard of blood of like what full my life misses and he did his own thing with it. One one <laughs> episode is literally vanished in the middle of, of FMA. It's literally. Uh, Huh? It's literally. Which episode is that? It's not literally Italy. They don't call it. They don't call it Venice, but it's literally Venice. It's just Venice in everything but the name. Um, like canal seas are pretty common in like anime and stuff. Like in media, canal seas are like um, overrepresented probably because they're like a really cool estate. It's like you know, it's like um, like it looks cool. Venice is a really cool city. Yeah, I've I, I don't see why what's wrong with like and taking flooding. It. Yeah, yeah, hell but yeah. But it part. doesn't fit. It doesn't fit the aesthetics of FMI. Mm. Why not? It doesn't need because it. FMI FMI was supposed to be uh, pre uh, uh, industrial revolution uh, Germany. Uh, it's, it's supposed it doesn't to be have to stick to that though. Like I, yeah, I like the change of location. But, but in Brotherhood, when China showed up or when Russia showed but up, the movie, but the movie, uh, the movie, the the enemy the is about matter. is about scientific uh, positivism. The entire mm. uh, anime, and yeah, that was a relevant theme. like out of spot. It's and that is not... and that was a relevant mention... theme for uh, for Germany in specific because of the Nazis. I'm yeah, but like the movie, no one, people who like the show don't like the movie though. Like I, the I'm, movie not talking, I'm, I'm not talking. I'm not talking. I'm not talking about the movie. I'm talking of both the uh, series. Uh, the mm. um, the uh, both series, yeah. especially uh, Brotherhood, uh, comments yeah, about Nazis and were inspired by Nazis. Um. Doesn't like the movie and for or to the literally have Nazis in it? Yes, yeah, the yeah. movie literally has. Nazis. It does. Okay. The the movie is basically um, the sh- uh, the show, but less subtle. Yeah, and, and it was supposed to be better. a second season. It was supposed to be a second season, yeah. but it got shit canned into a movie. Sadly enough, I think I think um, like Martin success on the desk girl, which was also by I the same guy. Oh, the reason I really like um, OTD over Brotherhood is like the the ending of OTD. I really love. It's I I love the yeah. fucking part where like he's like they still like they separate and they're in like a worse position than when they started, but uh, they're still like trying. They're still smiling. It's about uh, like life is here. Sometimes I, you lose more than you lo- get, but you got you gotta keep going. And maybe yeah. I don't know you'll like get it one day. You gotta live. It's a theme about perseverance, which is like it's a theme that's extremely common but it's extremely needed because like it's a constant mm-hmm. for battle where like you know endurance. Yeah, basically, you know, repeat in the movie. Know. Like the movie mm-hmm. does like the exact same thing, but it's just more condensed, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, unrelated to the movie, I. I I didn't really get into the this, early, this earlier uh, when you guys are like going crazy over this, but I, I think it's weird to talk about like three having, you know, talking about it as filler because I mean, if you even if you do want to talk about it as filler, I, don't see that it as more filler. filler. No. I think I think Brotherhood like never has any downtime at all. It's just constant yeah. like combat and new shit happening. Okay, and it, I, I just agree. like think of it. It's just, it's a clusterfuck. To be honest, and they I always enjoy it a lot. Lose. They okay, always okay. lose. Okay, okay, that's fair. That's fair. They have no victories. But I don't, I don't hate the filler in O3 because it's filler. I hate the filler mm. because it doesn't fit the aesthetic of the anime. Every For time, one episode there's a filler or was anime. there more? What? What were you talking about? For the Venice about? episode, or was there more that didn't fit the, the aesthetic? The Venice episode is just the best example. 
Uh, but I, I thought, time... okay, okay, can I butt in? Um, I yeah, thought, yeah. I thought the whole thing with the fake stone, with the the what do you, the minimum stone or something. I thought, yeah. I thought that fit in well. Okay, I agree with you. And that was filler. The 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 mm. fake brothers were was the best filler. I th- no, well. I think it was the best filler because it wasn't filler. It was it was character development. They learned something. Both parties, both the filler guys and like the brothers themselves, were changed in some way by the end. And you can really see that going forward. I agree with it. I would say that like the first like fifteen episodes of Brotherhood is actually bad. Like what? actually just really bad. Yes. yes the first know. episode of Brotherhood. The f- no, the first like fifteen. Yes, I agree. Like, on for Brotherhood. Yeah, for like, Brotherhood. Who's and Nina in Brotherhood? It was not not so great. Not sure, that's fine. I that I like the Nina episode in Brotherhood because I watched Brotherhood yeah, no, first no. and it was really shocking, and I it, it let me discuss. You would have, fu- have fucking loved O three because like O three built up was so much more. Yes, I yeah, yeah, I it had two episodes, which is good. Which is yeah. Good. Two episodes versus one. Yeah. Yeah, and I remember I in O three the uh, the whole church area. Yeah, um, that was way more interesting with Rosa and shit. Way yeah. more interesting, gave way more characterization to Ed as like a snooty scientist, atheist, giving them hard facts out of compassion. It was, it was so, so much better than like, I don't even remember what happened, brother. Um, um, wait, Van, uh, uh, no, Axe no, don't yeah. care about your feelings, but I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that yeah, reminds me of Shapiro, my god. Yes. Oh, I I found a great one that was like someone like being like I I'm not beautiful, and him being like um you're actually beautiful. I said, like, well I don't feel beautiful. Like, well facts don't care about your feelings. <laughs> <laughs> that, oh yeah, that's good. Mm. Uh, but I agree with um, Go Jesus that uh, Boto Tree and Brotherhood are incredibly flawed shows. But if mm. you put the two together, you create a masterpiece. Ah, uh, no. Kind yeah, they, of. I think they both they bring like, other things to the They don't table. fit together, though. Yeah, I, 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 they I, don't, yeah, they don't go I together. I hate the comedy in Brotherhood. The comedy yeah. is bad. I Probably. don't like it. It's, it's, it's generic. Well but it's like, I, I really don't like when people say, like, you can mix them because you can't. They're too different. They're, they're, they're like, very different. All three is incredibly like dark and brooding. And when the, when the, I say when I say mix them, I don't mean that you watch X episodes of O three yeah, yeah. and X episodes of. Uh, That's not what he's I arguing. Mean, That's what not what I he's. Mean, ar- let me talk. I mean, let me talk. If you put, if you, if you he's put not literally the talking about episodes. They're, they're going for a different movie. tone. They're going for a different tone. Yeah, I agree. They have different tones. But if you put the qualities of Brotherhood and you the can qualities fucking of say that about anything, other... you can say that about that's everything. Right. That's too broad. Yeah, that's what I was gonna okay. say. Okay, okay, that's too fair. broad. I feel like the wording of this is weird because I just, I just really think that each of them have their own good yeah. aspects. And yeah, yeah. I do. Um, like they have I their do own like they separate. separate. They should stay as I separate like things. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes, because they already think... exist. I don't exactly. want another season of FMI. Exactly. I would kill myself <laughs> if they made another season. I would kill myself if they made another Berserk. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. They probably will. They probably they will. will. Yeah. They will. God damn it. Look. So, not, berserk but, just needs to end. Holy crap. Just like, no, like, ah, Berserk, berserk 97 was fucking perfect. It was. Yeah, just leave it at that. Because, like, Berserk, you can't, like, you can't take it as, like, they did a weird thing with Berserk where, like, the show doesn't fit with the movies. And they ma- they made the movies to be, like, a um a kind of bridge to people because the show didn't involve that much magic. It, like, mixed out, uh, messed out, missed out a lot of it. Yeah, because it so, wasn't like, important to the Golden Age, It wasn't important, it wasn't relevant. It was a whole bunch of filler in the manga yeah. at that time. And it was better for it. I think it was so much yeah. better for it. But, like, the movies try to add magic in, but they also forget a bunch. So like they mix the shit turn out. So it's like the movies don't even like get you caught. It's like it was a really weird thing what they did. They like fucked up big time. Cause like both both exist basically just to say go read the manga. But both don't like prepare you for the yeah. manga. Yeah, like, I think ninety seven functions as its own thing. Yeah, ninety seven is just like its own perfect little thing that I love and cherish and will love till my dying days. Yeah. 
Uh, any any other controversial opinions? Um, Not really controversial opinion. I think it's a good thing that the Nazis last one lost one World War II. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think most people agree, to be honest. Yeah, I I I, I meant to say unpopular opinion by my fuck deal. Uh, another controversial opinion. You should not go back in time to kill baby Hitler. Uh, I agree. And, okay. and I have different reasons than most people. Uh, don't fuck with the past. That's probably it, a good it, It's rule. not because okay. the uh, butterfly effect. Uh, it's not because the deontological reasons that killing babies is... But how would we have highways? We need to hide... We need to hide <laughs> you should not go back in time to kill Hitler because the World War II would happen anyway. Yeah, probably. It's probably. just because of that. It, it was inevitable. Uh, it's uh, the Americans yeah, just fucked the Germans too bad with the Versailles. Something speech. worse could have um, happened. Like you know, yeah. Uh, the main reason yeah, why Hitler thing, got elected. Worse yeah, the main happen, reason why Hitler got elected. Yeah. Right, let me talk. The main reason why Hitler got elected was one. He said there would be more jobs. He said there would yes. be jobs for everyone. And two, he said mm. vengeance for Versailles. That was one of his biggest guys, Vengeance for Versailles. Yeah. But if he hadn't he was... seen Hitler, it would have been uh, an ad another guy. Yeah. Kind of? Yeah. He did want to make his country. Maybe the Holocaust wouldn't have happened, but um, a whole bunch of other stuff would have. Mm. No. Yeah. The people really didn't like the Jews. It just wasn't Hitler. It was really weird. Uh, people haven't so... liked the Jews throughout the whole of history. Yeah. I don't yeah. think killing Hitler would have changed that. Yeah. Mm. It's really weird. It's the one like, thing I really don't understand. Yeah, the Holocaust lessons, like, kind of might get. not exist, but... Mm. Mm. I feel bad. Like, yes, of course we wish World War II just never happened, but that's not a thing, so... Yeah. I wouldn't have killed baby Hitler because, um, like, you know, that, like, changes everything. I wouldn't exist. None of us would exist because that's, like, a huge thing. Yeah, it'd be a completely yeah. different world. Like, even if World War II still happens, it happens completely differently. If you, yeah. if you could, like if you could go to the moment of Hit before Hitler's if, death, if you could go to the moment before Hitler's suicide, would you bring him to modern day with you? What? <laughs> could you repeat? If you could go back to the day Hitler died, what Why? would you do? I don't know. I would, Take him um, to Argentina. I, I would have a chat with him. I will try to understand his reason. I would get drunk with him. And I, then I and then I would leave him and he will die anyways. I would just um, find out if he actually killed himself or if it was like the Soviets covering it up. You know, just to make sure. Then like uh, ask him why he had to do Just like why, I need to explain to me. I mean, I he has a whole it. book written about it. I know, but it's a, it's a shit book. I've heard it's like hardly written. Like he didn't write it, but it's still badly done. He, he like, did write it. He wrote it in prison. You know, like, he had a guy who wrote it for him. Gosh, he, like, uh, We're talking about my prison. favorite dude, Hitler? I'm back. Yeah, he, yeah. he wrote Mein Kampf in yeah. prison, though. Yeah, he did, but, yeah. like, he was, like, he, he, like, had someone else write it for him, didn't he? No, no. Like, okay. That was, right. that was maybe another book, but not Mein Kampf. He wrote that in prison. You're who telling me he probably like didn't have a ghostwriter in <laughs> Like he wasn't well, I mean, popular. He, okay. he was kind of popular in prison, but not that popular. <laughs> like when he, uh, I, I think it was like the late twenties or like the early thirties when he got in prison because he tried you to. Know, uh, I would go back in time. I would make sure Hitler gets his diploma, so like he can actually get into um, art school. <laughs> <laughs> no, he he he's art. like a good painter. World War Two will probably still happen, but like we'd have cool like Hitler painting. <laughs> I imagine, like, if he going to art school, he'd be incredibly liberal. So he'd be, like, speaking out against the government and shit. I mean, he spoke out and against the government. He spoke <laughs> against the evil Nazi regime. He spoke out against the government and then formed the... the then joined the National Socialist Party. Yeah. Did you know he was, like, a part of, like, this socialist government of, like, Bavaria for a little bit? Yes. Like he joined the Nazis while like being a spy for them. Yes. Uh, anyway, we're getting too far off topic. Uh, any any more unpopular any more unpopular this opinions? Never off topic. Is um, Kano still I alive? I think he's falling asleep. To be honest. No, I'm here. You can like go if you want. You yeah. Can go and sleep. Yeah. I have an unpopular opinion. I think. 
<laughs> Go ahead. Uh, I prefer the homunculi in 2003 more than 2000 and whatever the fuck. Agreed. I really thought you were gonna say I really prefer the Holocaust. <laughs> I think I think that greed. I think that greed from uh, Brotherhood is the best homunculi. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, agreed. But that's it. But the homunculi in general are better in 2003. Yes. But yeah, then yeah. again, they were trying to do different things in the in both animes. You yeah, know, this is like why. This is why. This is why. You know. Maybe you should bring back the same rider as 2003 for 2010. You know, maybe but, not. Maybe but, not. But in 2010, they were trying to do the manga. Yeah, but like, if you had the same fucking rider on it, maybe he he could, you know, implement some of these elements a bit better, rather than have some new guy do it. Yeah, just an idea. What? Was the 2003 anime then just by one guy? Uh, written by yeah, yeah. By one Show guy. Aikawa wrote most of it. Um, most okay. of it, not all. Not of all it. of it, but the, the. And you can see that because the filler sucks. Uh, okay, I'm gonna look this up now. Uh, I'm gonna take control then. Does anyone else have any unpopular opinions? No. Are we done? Uh. I go to fucking bed now, hell yeah. Yeah, we're done. Okay. Cut the car. Cut the recording. Yeah. No, no, we, we have to say goodbye. To, to Bye, the Mandara listening to us. After three hours. You know, Spider Man Edge of Tomorrow was all right. Yeah, thanks. My first introduction to a lot of people. Uh, you know, thanks, uh, uh, thanks for watching. Coffee. Thanks for sticking like around for this Spider-Man. long. Uh, I really, I really I like all of you guys. Uh, like thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for sticking uh, around for this long. And uh, you know. if you, if you are still listening to us, you guys are completely insane. And uh, Just like I'm not us. sorry for you. I'm not.